back to my channel if it's your first time here it's your girl melissa and zandax and this is zen baby zen say hi hi say hello. hello okay you guys give me one second let me go live on facebook okay hey guys what's up this is not supposed to be here <laughs> hi guys uh welcome back to my page if it's your first time here my name is melissa and and this is zen baby zen baby you guys so um join me let me make zendaya's hair okay um if you are joining please don't forget to hit the subscribe button in case i forget to say it at the end of this video hit the subscribe button like this video share this video please as you're coming in go ahead and share this video okay let your family and friends know that millicent is back on okay how you guys doing welcome back to my page um as i was saying i'm making zendaya's hair so i actually started this hair yesterday <laughs> zendaya said she wants a pink hair so i'm making her hair and like i said i started this hair yesterday and unfortunately it's not it's not an unfortunate thing though just that i was not able to finish it yesterday because number one she's a child that's why that's one of like my biggest challenges because my kids are still young i am not able to finish their hair all in one day like i don't start their hair and finish it the same day okay so i started yesterday and i'm going to continue and hopefully i'm able to finish it today because i have to start making zm zuri's dios on tomorrow anyways how you guys doing okay hopefully i'm able to actually make this hair and not talk too long but stop by say hi how are we doing talk to me okay anyways um thank you guys for being here like i already said i really appreciate you guys here i'm trying to get myself back to posting as often as i can okay so you guys bear with me and over the years that i've been away i've been i've created so many pages so this is me trying to handle more than five pages on facebook and four um youtube channels okay plus my tiktok page hi hi bruce love thank you so much how you doing plus my tiktok page my instagram page my snapchat everything okay hi happy how we doing hi tifa thank you so much for joining so you guys over the period that was away i was thinking out loud to myself and i was like i have four children four daughters for that matter and everything doesn't be drawing every time i am making the same ishaka for them if you don't know ishaka means like cornrows yes i'm always making cornrows for them i'm i crave to be that mom that make like spicy hair for their children for their spicy children you know what i'm saying so i had to go and learn how to do not less braid although i feel like i have not learnt it like learnt it properly but i'm trying like this hair is going to be the second hair that i'm making not less braids on emma come let's show them your hair I made not less hair on Emma, not less braid on Emma, and it came out incredibly beautiful. And I'm trying it on Zendaya, but as you can mm -hmm. see, bend down, don't bend down. Your shot is so short, but bend down. Look at that, you guys see Emma's hair? Yeah. I made not less braid on her hair, and it is bend your head, bend now. Not look at the camera. See, and it came out really beautiful, really gorgeous. Say hi. 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 <laughs> 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 be going. it came out really beautiful so for zendaya's own i'm just trying to mark it there and mark it there. that means i'm just trying to hold it together okay i feel like zendaya stays at home with me all the time so i can always rebraid her hair anytime that i want so tomorrow is actually the start of spring break for the kids and i'm trying to make as much this is wait now i'm trying to make as much videos i can i can with them tomorrow like starting <laughs> Yes, happy I made Emma's hair from beginning to end. I'm trying to start. Me, I'm trying, hoping to make as much videos as I, as I can with the kids tomorrow because they've been begging me, Mommy, make video. All this while I've been away, they always tell me, When are we gonna make videos? When are we gonna go back to vlogging? You will need to see the, la the latest vlog that I made. I've not published it yet, I'm still editing it. But Emma was so excited when I told her that I was vlogging, she was so happy. So, what, I'm, what am I trying to say? I've forgotten. See, I've put us red at this point. But yeah, the kids, um, I've forgotten what I was saying. Jesus Christ. As I was saying, which I can't even remember what I was saying. But, um, I'm trying to make their hair 
today, all of them, or tomorrow, so that I can have all the time in the world to make videos with them during the summer and um, spring break, which is starting tomorrow. But I wasn't able to finish um, um, Dion's um, Zen, um, Zuri's hair, so I may just pack it and just make the videos, and then after I'll just, um, you know, um, braid it later. But for Zendaya, I just want to magidele the thing because I know that she's at home with me, so I can always rebraid her hair anytime that I want. But for the other ones, I need to get their hair ready before they can go back to school. Emma's hair looks so good. Thank you so much, Ogechi. Thank you. Thank you. Mommy, but who called you? Where's my Where's my hair packer? Okay, you guys, watch this. Like I said, I'm not I'm not so great at it at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it. Zenzen turn. Zenzen is so great. Zenzen is usually shh. I'm not quiet. Zenzen is usually like very quiet whenever I'm making her hair, but I don't know if it is the camera that is making her to be shaking up and down. Uh, you guys, I cannot. No, 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 no. Don't do that. You guys, I cannot make okay. Dior's hair on camera. If I make her hair on camera, people will call CPS for me because Dior will cry like somebody's killing her. Watch this. Zenzen turn now. Ah, see voila. See, I even bought hair braid or something. See, see, I even bought the stuff for hair braid. <laughs> I even bought the stuff for hair braid. I will knock somebody. I'm not joking. Oh yeah, let me start. Bend your hair. This is not how I learned it though. But trust me, I tried to do it the way that I learned it multiple times, and it wouldn't work. So I had to improvise with my own method okay watch over here oh, no, he that is why i got you no. <laughs> he's, he's watching me on the phone <laughs> on this one uh, thank you mel thank you for subscribing to my channel <laughs> hi joanna okay you guys watch so this is not the way i learned like i said Oh, There's a movie about it like this. So calm when she's doing this. But she's not keeping her head like the way she kept it very well yesterday. Okay. Please don't perm their hair anymore. Trust me, that was the biggest mistake I ever made. I'm never putting relaxer on anybody again. Zendaya is so lucky. Oh, Jesus. Zendaya is so lucky that I did not relax her hair, and I'm so glad I had one child. That I did not put relaxer on. That was one of my biggest regrets in my life. Even relaxing my own hair was a big regret for me. Okay, so let me tell you something, right? When I first relaxed my hair, I relaxed it because I was running out of options on what to do to my hair. Okay, you guys, I'm going to add the attachment. Again, this is not how to do it though, but I'm doing how I'm supposed how I was able to get to do it. So I'm gonna add the first one. And I'll come back to that perming something later, okay. And I'll add the second. So because of this not less braid, that's why I bought that thing. Because my children don't know how to give attachment. Add the second one. Why do you need two, mommy? Mm -hmm. With three. Because that's the star. I'll add the third one. Yeah, so keep your head. And then I'll start braiding. Zendia wants you to be see her face, not the back of her hair. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even see your face. Oh. As I was saying, I will always regret it anytime. See, if people are going to stay here, please be quiet. Okay, back to what I was saying. Zen Zen, Zen, Zen move your leg now. Oh, thank you, Peter. Thank you so much, Harrietta. Peter, thank you so, so much. Hi, Emmanuel. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Favor. Love you too. Mwah. Love you. Thank you. Thank you, Lucky. So I was replying to Lucky, right? As I was saying, when I relaxed my kid's hair, it was out of my own hair. It was because I was running out of options on what to do with my hair. Like I was frustrated with my natural hair. I will make it with the attachment. It will not be fine. Not that it will not be fine. I was spending so much money making my hair. 
And it wasn't the money that was my problem. My problem was actually the time I was spending sitting down and making my hair. And within two weeks, my hair would be old. I would take it down and start rebraiding it again. Like, I was doing that consistently and it was exhausting for me. Like, I'm this kind of person, smoting they piss me or smoting my body would just be biting me. And plus, attachments was, the attachment I was always using was itching my body, right? I decided to stop using attachment and start braiding my own natural hair. And boom, you make it before you know it, it will become, um, um, it will become old again. I have to rebraid it, you know? So it's just up and down, up and down, up and down. My sister, I just went. I thought relaxing my hair because I, there was this lady, I was watching her video on YouTube. Let me tell you something. Don't believe everything people see on social media because even me as a content creator, I got fooled, okay? There was this lady I saw on YouTube, her natural hair. Her natural hair, but relaxed, was so gorgeous, so long. Until they reached her back, till it's so beautiful. And she was saying how she relaxed her hair and how you can have a natural healthy relaxed hair you know a lot of things that she said i believed it i was like okay all i have to do is just do all these things that this woman is doing to her hair my own hair will, you know my hair will be natural and to my hair will be relaxed but natural but will grow you know i kind of believed it and plus to me at that moment it felt like the only solution to the hair issues i was having that was how i called precious i said precious come and relax my hair Precious came, relaxed my hair. My hair was beautiful. I was rocking it. I was doing shakara for you people. I was flexing it. If you talk one, I will flip my hair like this. If you talk two, I will flip my hair. You start shut your mouth, you know. It was good while it lasted. Until one month, I decided, okay, let me braid my hair. I braided my hair. My hair was looking beautiful. But then by two weeks into the braided hair, my hair was itching me and it would itch me and I would look at it and I would be bringing out white stuff from my hair. At some point, I thought I was going to run mad and I decided to take down the hair and that was the first and last time into my relaxed hair that I braided my hair. I could not braid my hair again. My hair was constantly itching me. My husband went and bought me medicated soap. I'll be sleeping like this. It's like somebody, it's like when somebody poured that seed on top of my hair. That was how my head was feeling. I checked in with the girls and I checked in with the girls and their hair was doing okay. It was just mine. And just like that, as if that was near enough, my hair was growing out, right? My natural hair was beginning to grow. And remember, I told you people because the woman told me that you can relax your hair just three times in a year and you're fine. So it never reached three times in a year. My hair don't grow. Like my natural hair, the new growth. See, it has so much undergrowth. And I was frustrated because now i can no longer style my hair however i want because i have natural hair here and then my relaxed hair is all over the place but then inside of my scalp is so white and dirty and itchy non-stop i was so mad man i couldn't relax my hair anymore i couldn't braid my hair nothing that was how I went to salon. I said, Auntie, first of all, I trimmed out all the um, relaxed points because this was like three months or four months into it. I said to trim out the relaxed ends because now I've decided, okay, I'm not relaxing it again. If the little relaxer that I did was causing me all that havoc, I trimmed out the relaxed ends and it was giving Onyara because it's still itchy. Everything was still going on as it was. I couldn't braid my hair. I couldn't style my hair. I was always covering my hair. And because now that I've cut it, I couldn't even pack up my hair anymore. That was how I went to a salon. I knocked. They opened the door. <laughs> I walked in. I was like, hey, I'm here to cut my hair. I want a haircut. They were like, oh, sure. Have a seat. We're going to send somebody to help you. I was feeling like, okay, thank you so much. I was feeling all suski and sweet. First of all, inside this salon, there are a lot of men there. And it's my, t uh, and I came in. I'm the only woman there, but I was okay to wait for my turn. And all of a sudden, one Asian woman walked up to me. First of all, the only people I saw there that were cutting hair were like men. And I was really waiting for a man to cut my hair, truth be told, because I, I don't, I'm not trying to be sexist, but I've not seen women cut hair before, except on social media, which I don't believe things on social media, right? But the woman walked up to me, I'm looking at her, again, I'm not trying to be racist, but like, she's Asian, I'm like, mm, 
okay i say auntie can you cut my auntie said yeah i cut your hair it look pretty very pretty i said auntie hmm, see the style i want to make or the style i want to cut the style i showed her was nancy see my son i want to look like nancy see she said yes i do your hair very pretty i tell you you look pretty pre i said okay auntie know the spit on me first of all do you cut black women's hair she said yes i cut black women's hair i just cut a black woman's hair she pretty well well i know queer I was like, okay, fine, no one, auntie start cutting, auntie started to cut hair. Auntie was cutting her hair, was cutting auntie. I said, ah, auntie, wait, though. This one, her hair is doing like this. She was cutting the thing well, but like, all of a sudden, she's giving me like, scraping the inside. I said, this it does not look like Nancy. So she said, it looked like it, it looked like, it looked like that picture, it looked pretty. I make you, you look pretty. Wait, wait, don't worry, don't worry. And another thing I don't like about some people okay and i'm going to say this in Igbo. forgive me please the thing i don't like about some people especially in that name come on i can see how time you could get instead of saying they don't they understand what you're saying they'll be nodding their head like they understand and then you're saying one thing they're doing another thing like anyways i don't want to say anything that will get me cancelled but you get the point and she was nodding her head up and down she not understand. It's what I said. Says she not understand. And she was cutting hair. I was going. I don't know if she wants to meet my middle on blind. That was my inside there. That was how I stood up from the chair. I told the woman, see, oh, I'm having. Pro I wanted to dye my hair blonde. I told, how I told dare you. I will slap your father. Come on, shave my pussy. I told the woman I want to dye my hair blonde. And she said, oh, because uh, she, because I already told her the problems, the issues I was having with my um hair my head she was like oh no if you dye blonde is going to worsen the situation blah 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 i was like okay thank you so much for the advice do you know that that hair that i showed you people in that picture i carried it i went to walmart with that head because this woman told me i was looking beautiful and for crying out loud who was wrong with me like was i blind i walked to walmart first of all i went to a salon with the head a different salon and this salon was just very close to the salon i was coming out of it was a hair salon like making hair salon that had black women in it and i walked in there i was telling the black woman this was after i've cut my hair i told the woman that i want to um 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 dye my hair so the woman looked at my hair and told, asked me if i was coming out of a salon i was like yeah she was like you know what with everything you've because i told everything i was going on with my show like with everything you've told me i would say just chill let your hair grow before you put any more chemicals on it. I think it's the chemical that you put on it that ruined it in the first place. Now, this woman was so terrible. And forgive me, forgive me. I'm not, I don't mean it in a bad way. But she didn't tell me that I, don't look, I didn't look good because she was the second person that I saw after I got out of the salon, right? And I went to Walmart that day looking like that. Nobody said anything to me. And that's one thing I don't like about, about America because to God, if it was in Nigeria, somebody must say something. And that's the thing about my Nigerian people. We don't mind our business. And to an extent, it's for your own good. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Sometimes there are some things you don't just mind your business. You say it because the truth can set somebody free because the truth is that I walked to Walmart looking like that and nobody said anything. Until I came home feeling like Anansi Simen walked into my husband and my husband shouted up, but Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the man was on the computer like this, but in the window. <laughs> and I came and I was like, now guess what? Surprise! The man thought that I was Obra Jesus. <laughs> I was like, what is it? He said, ah, so now you want to become gay? <laughs> I was like, Wait, no. Oh, what were you thinking to that? I can you know not that you can shut I'm telling you the story. <laughs> thank you, Gib, thank you. He was like, wait, so that you want to become I'm like, no, I went to get my hair cut because of bro. Like, and of all styles to cut is this. What is wrong with you? Wait, let me take a picture so you see what I'm talking about. Because at this point now I'm getting mad, right? And the man is busy laughing at me. I'm like, it's not funny. He said, you wait, you will not understand. Let me take a picture of you. Let me just see what I'm seeing. Let me see if you would all laugh. <laughs> you laughed? I had to because it was funny. But at first it was not funny. But now I'm embarrassed to the point that I had to put a bucket on my head. Sister, sit down now. A bucket on your head? Right? I had to cover my head with a bucket because I was so, so embarrassed. But anyways... Um, you need to come and cut. Hmm? You want to check your hair? You want to look at your hair? See? It's cute. You like the pink color? Yeah. Anyways, 
that was how this happened in in beginning of April. Like I carried the hair for like what this happened in April, um, before Zuri's birthday because it was on Zuri's birthday that I decided to shave the whole thing because I was so embarrassed. So after <laughs> after he said that, after making fun of me, I went and I went and put on my wig, started taking cute pictures. Hey, I wish I could show the picture. Just remind myself, see, you're still a girl. Oh, forget <laughs> I could. I was so mad. I was so frustrated and embarrassed. Emma, that's okay. I will finish it later. Since you can't turn. Anyways, I went, I finished taking pictures, reminded myself that I was cute. One week later, I shaved the whole thing off. Unless shaving it off was actually like a very good thing because that was what healed my hair. My hair started to grow back, but it didn't, it didn't just grow back. I used the medicated soap for months. I think for two, three months. I was using it with um, this thing that uses washing your hair. I was using it to scrub my scalp for two, three months and that medicated soap every morning until all the dandruff healed and plus the fresh air everything was touching on it so the thing really healed and then i september i started to braid my hair again my hair has kind of grown right now but like not so grown but it's grown enough to make um braids all back and i can braid my hair all back and yeah i can now wear my own i can now braid it back and wear wigs with it Anyways, the moral of this story is number one, do not go and relax your hair because somebody on social media told you that your hair will look as cute as her. No, you're Nigerian, you're black, okay? There's this kind of natural suffering our hair comes with. Our hair comes with, our hair, they do, maybe the woman that told me this is she might be Caribbean. You know, Caribbean have very beautiful hair. She might be Caribbean. I'm talking about like the black Caribbean. I don't know if they are white Caribbean, but like the black people, their hairs are all, their hair are always so beautiful. Emma, can you excuse me? Their hair always so beautiful, but somebody like me who gonna start cutting my hair, gonna start relaxing my hair so that my hair will look like their own. Biggest momo of the year. Anyways, how are you people doing? Let me listen. Let me read the comments. Some have great experience with it, but it takes maintenance. I know. Never forget maintenance. I did all the maintenance. See, let me tell you something. I did rice milk. I did funu Greek seed. I made aloe vera oil. I made carrot oil. See my aloe vera oil. Inside this aloe vera oil, I made this by myself. I have rice in here. I have funu Greek seed. I have everything, mint. Every hair supplement you can ever think of is in here. I started talking collagen, collagen peptides. I just started taking a lot of things. Never forget, it's not about maintenance. I try, trust me. So what is not good for you is not good for you, period. And I think also because I have no real relax. Okay, this kind of thing happened to me in 2014 ever since i came to this country my entire life in nigeria i used to relax her. and then i came to this country i didn't relax my hair till 2015 i came 2014 i relaxed my hair march of 2015 and i started having white stuff on my hair i thought maybe it was because i had a baby right and i decided to um start going natural that was actually where i started going natural i started going natural september of 2015 that was when i trimmed down my relaxed ends and all that stuff what am i trying to say i think it's just a combination of this country's weather and is reacting with the real relaxer is reacting to my scalp because in 2017 2018 when my mom came here in 2018 after i had to i tried to texturize my hair the same thing happened. I cut it off in 2019 and started again. And now 2023, the same thing happened. So I think it has to do with my hair and the country that I'm in. Or maybe God does not just want me to continue to use relaxer. Because after that time, come and see my comment section. Ah, Millicent, you're going to have cancer. Millicent, cancer will kill you. Why are you relaxing your hair? You will not tell somebody something in a kind way. How do you know that I do? I know that that thing causes cancer? If I know, will I intentionally carry cancer? Come and give it myself. I did not know. And I was really feeling cute that I was relaxing my hair. Even before people said it, like... Even people, before people said it, I had already done it. Like, I know you could see her see if you should leave me alone now. Anyways. <laughs> Hi, Blessing. Hi, Arthur. When I used to get them, no matter how long I left it in or stretched it, it made my hair stick to my scalp and cause scabs. Somehow, I've been natural for over 15 years. Oh, my goodness. That is incredible, Pori. 
that's my goal now even though i hate i hate natural hair with all my heart i'm not going to lie i hate being natural but honestly i guess that is the only way out of this situation and i'll just be braiding my hair back as long as i have somebody that will be giving me good um all back beautiful all back and i'll be wearing wigs okay and my children and by my children i mean do you have asked me why do you have to wear wigs my children may ask me why I'd have to wear wigs. They will not understand, but mm -mm, I'm not... Anytime you see me braiding my hair, just know that <laughs> I'm trying to feel extra cute, okay? But I'm not braiding my hair anymore. It's wigs from today henceforth. Well, from that day henceforth. I've made up my mind. I braid my hair all back and I put on my wig, okay? Because I even look better with it. And no shade to black hair, but in the air, I did not come to this world to come and suffer. I beg. Okay. Yeah, I'm not listen to you guys. Just say yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Perry. Please, with all the respect, use moisturizer on those girls' beautiful hair. I'm using moisturizer. Do you know the moisturizers that are here? See, now you've made me to ruin what I'm making. <laughs> I use moisturizer. See, I made this one number one. This one is number two. This one is number three. Number. Should I continue to bring number four. them? Number five. Number five. Put that in down. <laughs> what? I use moisturizer all the time. And I don't see any hair that needs moisturizer right now. Let me know, okay? But yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I know you don't mean any disrespect. I'll be, you said without your respect. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Ever since I treated and got rid of HSV2 after taking herbal medication, I'm confused. Who is this one? Oh, there. Hi, Alexandra. <laughs> Hi, Girls Gives. Thank you so much. I wrote to you last week. I said, because I want her to learn from you. She will be in America with my kids on Thursday. Oh my God. Please, I need her to learn from you. Oh, hi, Shedra. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. And I'm so excited for you. Ha! Before you know it, I come and start eating Nigerian food up and Because I know all this while you're in America. He's just coming. to be eating burger, burger up and that. Eh? He's coming, my food. His coming. family is coming to America <laughs> next this Thursday. I don't know. I hey, know they disturb me. I know start this live video because of you. <laughs> He, wait, he, wait, so is, are talk, they talk. gonna come to our house? No, they're not coming to our house. Then why do you see that? Um, see what... Emma, congratulations, she... oh, Jesus! Now you made me to make me say congratulations, Shedrack. I am so happy for you. Okay, Emma, don't interrupt me again. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Where's my hair? This one that I'm making video, I'm making this. Hair. I'm going to make it till midnight today. Diane said, so you look more beautiful today. Oh, thank you so much, Diane. But in the air, I look beautiful all the time. Forget that. Eh? Say with your full chest. Eh? <laughs> I look beautiful all the time, baby. I hope I'm able to finish this time. I really want to be able to take down the hair today. So, Zuri's birthday is on April. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to make her hair as the last hair. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to? You will push down mm -hmm. something. Hi, mommy, because it's I said nobody's passing here once I start recording. Mm -mm. Nobody's passing here. <coughs> Hi, Ngozi. How you doing? Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm doing good. Hi, Hartini. Hi, Eric from Atlanta, Georgia. How are you doing? I did the same thing too. One minute, I relax, then cut and go natural in the rest routine. But honestly, it's not intentional. Left to me, if if my natural hair was easy to maintain, honestly, I don't mind being natural. But it's not easy to maintain. And let me let me be honest, okay? In the for the purpose of transparency, right? One of the biggest reasons why. How do I put this nice without sounding dumb and stupid? Okay, is that as a then, right? I could have this is what I'm telling myself right now. I could have worn wigs, I could have braided my hair all back and worn wigs. But the truth is that I did not know much about wigs then. Forget, forget everybody on social media, we don't always know everything, right? And this is what I mean. 
do you people know that it is just of recent <laughs> don't laugh at me if you laugh at me your father <laughs> if you laugh at me your mother do you know that it is just of recent that i'm learning about wigs and let me explain the other day i just called my girlfriend on the phone i was like no ma guess what did you know that this wig we bought so and so time is a frontal and this one is a closure it's just now i'm learning so let me break it down right um in last year that was when june may june july yeah june of last year i went to florida i met a friend and the girl was looking so beautiful ah she's nigerian yoruba the woman on face she fine and all the thing that caught my attention was the wig on her head now remember and listen very carefully at this point i was carrying my bald head okay like doing my chakra like i owned the entire place and i was walking up and down and i'm like baby girl where did you get this hair from this hair is looking beautiful and she's like oh i got it from love me hair i was like really she said yeah i was like oh wow it's beautiful now don't get me wrong i had bought a wig from love me hair but i bought a bank because i was scrolling through amazon and i saw this bank and i bought it like we call it fringes but like bangs right and i bought it I did not care about the company and all that stuff and i decided to buy the hair before then oh, i had wigs don't get me wrong i had wigs right but these are wigs that this this woman she would send me a message from amazon and send me like she would just tell me to buy the wigs she just wanted people to test out her wig so i was testing out her wigs again how do i say this without sounding dumb and stupid and don't quote me okay and don't use this one against me okay <laughs> when i become rich and famous but what i'm saying is this woman she would only send us wigs me let me speak for myself she would only send me wigs and i would wear the wigs and for somebody who was still getting into the world of wigs right i would wear this wig. the wig was totally different from the synthetic wig i was wearing and i would try out the wig i'm like oh my god this wig is so beautiful it's so fantastic you know I did not know that this woman was giving me blend. Now, my friend had told me, oh, Millicent, this hair is fine, no, but this is not real human hair. I'm like, no, look at it. It's different from this one I was wearing. See, if you watched my video when I did Zendaya's um, gender review video, that was the hair I was talking about that was synthetic, right? Because I went and I bought it, and when I bought it, remember, they told me it was real human hair, and I paid for it, and I bought it. And I was wearing it and shaking my hair up and down, thinking it was actually human hair. And then I, this woman gave me this one, and my friend told me, oh, this is not real human hair. I said, no, now, nah, come on, look at it. And besides, I bought it very expensive because the woman will give me the money to buy it. And then she will, um, she will, give me the, she will send me the money through PayPal to buy the hair and test it out for her. I don't send her pictures or write reviews for her. I just test it out for her. I don't know why. Anyways my friend compared the hair to that woman's own I, she told me it was not human hair i insisted this woman i bought over what 10 different hairs from her and in 2020 i was flaunting this hair looking nice but then there was something i noticed about the hair right whenever i wear the hair if i don't wear makeup i look like mbeke feeling funky have you seen an mbeke before but like a wanna be and I'm working and wanna be. That was how I was looking like, okay? And the truth is that you people don't tell somebody the truth on social media. Again, I hold you people accountable for that. You people don't tell somebody the truth on social media. I will post a picture, all of you be like, oh my God, Millicent, you're looking good. Ah, my head will be swelling. I'll be feeling so ski. You will be praising me. My nails should be getting bigger. You will not tell me that that's not really in my hair. Yeah, I was going around floating that nonsense up and down. Anyways, that was how I went to where I went to. I saw this woman, her hair was looking beautiful. I asked her, babe, where did you get this hair from? She said she got it from Love Me Hair. I went on my phone, search Love Me Hair. I saw her. I said, what? What? This is so beautiful. My sister, that was how I purchased three of them at the same time. Real human hair. The hair came in. I was like, God dang it. 
ishi mara mo let me say it in igbo ishi wo dache ishi wo meme ishi wo poto nso ishi wo nso poto ishi wo sakatan ishi wo so nwa baby ishi wo meme the hair was so beautiful and luscious i wore this thing i went to where i went the next day i was like everyone was like oh melissa melissa and i was like yes yes say it say it <laughs> i was shaking my ears everybody loved it they were like you look so gorgeous i was like oh thank you so much say it again <laughs> i i, I said don't interrupt me again i'll put my hand inside your eye anyways now i bought this hair i was feeling all so and all that right and i wore it the whole time i was there in, in where i was right and i was looking all good only for me to come back and realize that the hair that i bought was not hd because now i'm studying see one thing with me is until i have decided to invest my time into so like anything you see that i'm not talking about know that i've not invested my time into it because i don't like to talk about things that i don't know anything about right now i am investing my time into this thing i realize ah there is hdo there is no hdo because this other hair that i bought i will wait and people will know that is a wig yes the hair is fine it's full but it's, it's not giving me what I wanted to give me. Like, I want to come out and people don't know that that's not my hair. Although, some white people don't know. Because there was this white woman I was now doing something with. Them. I was like, ah, is this your hair? You look so gorgeous. I was like, yeah, it's my hair. The idiot I was standing with Kobala. I said, it's not her hair. I said, don't that fire your father. The idiot. Come on, get that way. <laughs> Who asked you? If I bought you my money, it's my hair. And if you tell that white woman, again, I will put my hand inside her eye. Both of us now started quarreling, but then we reconciled. Back to my story. That was how I went on this people's website and I was reading this thing like a university test book. And I realized that the one I bought is not, is regular lace. And the other, they have HD. And I'm like, oh, really? Now, I had already spent money to buy these ones. And it's no longer giving what it's supposed to be giving, right? But I'm still going to wait because I bought it with my money. But I still did not like it. <laughs> I was like, I went to my old guy, I started to, you know, press buttons here and there. <laughs> oh God, please, please, please. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Anyways, that was how I now went and bought. See, you cannot tell that this is HD. And again, those ones that I bought, I went and bought 13 by 6 front. I will wear wig, wig will just stay like this. You'll be seeing the difference, which is like fair. You have to climb to get to the top. I'm like, ah, why is this thing? I even made a video. I told the people that the wig is not bigger than my head. I don't know that I had to install it. Up until March 2024, I did not know the difference between closure and frontal. Now, what brought about this story? What I'm trying to say is that if last year or 2022, if I really, if I knew about this website, love me here right because see let me tell you something i'm this kind of person i'm loyal to a fault there's nothing you can tell me about love me here right now and this is not even a paid promotion and they've been begging me to do promotion i said no they want to pay me to do promotion i said no they i said right review i said no so this is not even a paid promotion this is basically like life experience okay that i'm telling people a story about anyways I'm loyal to a Ford. If you tell me anything bad about Love Me Hair, I will not agree because they are the first company that made me believe in originality, hair originality. Because I have bought what I what I ordered versus what I bought before. I made a video about it in 2020. I ordered three hair for $59. <laughs> three hair for $59.99. And it came in looking like chekeleke, <laughs> bango shit. I was so disappointed because the head they showed on the website was stuff like this. And I went and ordered with my friend then. Ah, we were so... What was the word I'll use now? But the scandals of $59.99. That one, we cried over it and that one passed. So coming to realize that there's actually a website that you can go. There are different types of hair. As I'm talking to you people right now. If you go on their website, you see hair for $69. That's not how much I bought this one. This was I, I, what I'm saying that they have an Easter sale going on. You get pixie cut for $69 for $79. Love me.com. Like their hair is impeccable. It's so luxurious. It's so beautiful. It is what you ordered and what you will get. Their hair is so beautiful, man. And this is this is out of the box. I did not call this myself. I did not do this coiling myself. This is how the hair came. And they the hair came pre-cut and everything. This is Nothing. I don't do anything to this hair. I just wore it. 
out of the box okay what am i trying to say if i knew about this hair in 2022 i wouldn't have cut my hair i wouldn't have relaxed my hair because the only thing i relaxed my hair the only reason i relaxed my hair was because i wanted my hair to look like this unfortunately my father is not white <laughs> neither is my mother <laughs> okay um so my hair cannot look like this and i also relaxed my hair because i wanted the convenience of just brushing my hair and going i thought to relax i would do that for me but unfortunately it did not so with wigs i can just braid down my hair which if i had known then i would have just braid i would have just been braiding down my hair and be wearing my wigs but i did not know so this is me doing public service announcement for you people in case you you're like i was then that did not know about good wigs you got to love me and go and buy yourself good wigs and come let us be looking good together we will not die eh we will not die <laughs> <laughs> oh hi looking on from trinidad and tobago that hair looks really good on you i never got such a good fit with a wig oh thank you so much jude thank you yeah it looks really good and i'm so proud of it and i'm happy too i got it from love me baby you guys can go check them out again this is no sponsored video and i i, I feel like i don't know as an influencer, right, people tend to reach out to you to promote stuff, all of those things. I f at this point, I'm like, let me just use my money and buy it. And if I like it, I will tell it to my audience, right? I will tell my audience. If I don't like it, I will tell it. It's my, my opinion will not be biased. I don't even get what I'm saying. Yeah, my opinion will not be biased. Because if, if I promote for them today, another company might come tomorrow and want me to promote for them. I will come and do it again. So which one will the people actually buy? I don't even get what I'm saying, right? Like you promote for this company today. Tomorrow you promote for a different company. I see some content creators doing that, Sha. They are cashing out. Maybe I should join them and be cashing out, but I don't know, Sha. Yeah. Hi, Diane. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Feeling sleepy already. Oh, good night, blessing. Good night. Good luck. Thank you, Stella. Oh, thank you so much, blessing. She will follow you. Her name is Chacha. Oh, thank you so much, Shedrak. I'll come December. Oh, you will come in December. Oh, okay. No, I'm in Thailand. Oh, really? That is awesome. So your family will come here and then you will join them later. Oh, that's so sweet. Where are they going to be staying? Are they uh, where they staying? Are they staying in Houston, Texas? Because now, now they're all of Nigeria is the wrong. Nobody wants to come and stay with me here in California. I love that you always sound mature and respectful, even when people try to disrespect you, keep it up. Oh, thank you so much. Neka, thank you so much. I did the same thing too. One minute I realized, then God, I'm going to try to do I'm telling you, man, the hustle is real. Oh, get there. <laughs> Hi, Eunice. Thank you so much. I'm back. I keep telling people I'm back. People think I'm joking. This is Millicent 2.4. <laughs> 2.4 by 0.4, I mean 2024, okay? Honestly, I pray I continue to stay, but I'm back. Not I pray, okay? I'm back full time, okay? I've been creating content. I've been making vlogs. Right now, I'm trying to work my way into getting a routine because I filmed a lot of videos this past week. I've not edited one. I've not edited one. I feel like it's easier for me to edit like short, short videos than to edit a vlog. I even finished, I've, I made the vlog and now I'm converting it into a voiceover because, let me tell you for something, in 2020 when I was actively vlogging like on a daily basis, 2020, 2021, I signed up for Epidemic Make Music and in, the, in some areas that you want to make the video look very, you know, interesting without having to say anything, you play some interesting music and most of my videos then, it was the music that kept my audience, you know, they would tell me, oh, Melissa, where did they get this music from? Because I feel like I always pick music based on how, what I feel is going on in that video at that point. But now, you put any music, even the ones that you're paying for the this, you know, Facebook would demonetize it, YouTube would demonetize it, everything. So now everybody's doing voiceover. And now that I'm back, I feel like I have to catch up with the trend of voiceover, and I... There's nothing I hate than listening to my own voice. I don't know if I'm the only content creator that does this, but the moment I post a live video or post 
a video, an edited video. You don't see me. I don't go back to watch my videos. Mm -mm. Except it's a TikTok video. I watch my videos and I laugh like a crazy person. But like my vlogs, I don't go back to watch my videos. I don't know why. So me doing voiceover is like too much work for me. Although the last time I tried a voiceover, which was like on Dior's birthday, it was kind of, I loved it. So what am I trying to say? That's why I've not posted any vlog yet. I've made a lot of vlogs, but I'm still dealing with making um, voiceover for it. But yeah, once I do that, I'll be posting a lot of vlogs. So yeah, I'm back full time. So you people, please follow me on Facebook, Millicent Zandax 1, Millicent Zandax 2. Follow me on TikTok, follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my page on YouTube. My goal is to get to a million um, followers on Facebook this year. <laughs> you people, let's make it happen. Oh. Let's make it happen. I know I'm not entitled to it, but see, you don't overdo. Eh? This thing was supposed to happen in 2021, 2022, but this is 2024. It never happened. And I hold myself accountable, okay, full time. So let's get to a million followers, um, followers on Facebook by the end of this year. That's the goal. Like, my goal is by December 31st, 2024, I want to get to a million followers. But if it does not happen, no, well, I'm not in spoil. I'm not going to, you know, uh, like I said, I'm not entitled to it. If I put in the work, I know it will happen. And if I don't put in the work, I don't expect any magic, you know. But it would be nice if you people share my video, watch my video, you know, follow my page, invite your family and friends to follow my page. As I'm still working on coming up with like a lot of incredible content for you guys, okay? I will try my possible best. The truth is that it's not easy, which I'm not here to complain, no. Honestly, it's not easy. Especially with the kids, as they are growing up, there's a lot more responsibilities than just making video. In 2021, in 2020, all my kids were at home going to school from the house. So it was easy for me to just sit down and make videos with them all day, you know. But now everybody's busy with something. Everybody's in school. A lot more um, school, school emails to read. Ah, is it just me? Is it just me that is tired of the school emails? <laughs> A lot more school emails and school functions to attend. Well, yeah, everything will be fine with time, okay? I'll get the hang of it. What is the name of that website? <laughs> Marie! Look at, look at them, look at them, hustlers. Marie the hustler. Marie is already asking for the name of the website. Ah, love me, come and pay me for this one. Okay, it's called loveme, L-U-V-M-E dot com, okay? their logo is they have like a purplish kind of website and trust me there's a lot of because they're a good company there's a lot of scammers out there that are trying to rip people off with their website and all that stuff but <clears throat> go it's called loveme.com okay l-u-v-m-e.com they have a purplish background purple background on their website they have an easter sale they come and see pixie court come and see her Ah, let me not come and start talking to you people. <laughs> Do I be my friend? We're always obsessing over this website. Come and see her. They have a lot of sales going on today. They are doing like Easter and um, this thing. Like, trust me, any hair you buy from them that you don't like. See, don't watch my video again. See, I'm putting my video at risk for you people. In fact, I'm, I take that back. It's not my website. It's not my product. I'm not going to vouch for them with my page i beg i need for i need followers come and watch me but what i'm saying is they are really good you will love them the one i want to get now is summer hair but i feel like i am a blonde kind of person and i've not seen just summer hair that has a blonde tint to it i love anything that has kind of like a blonde tint to it hey Lebu. i know a long time nothing your sister, your sister Jappa. <laughs> I chat bad. Don't mind me, I'm not Jappa go anywhere. I did. I've just been so busy, but I'm back and I'm so happy to see you. See, I still remember all of you. Eh? I still remember all of you that come to my life all the time and support my page. Thank you guys so much for being here again. Lebo, I missed you. Oh, thank you. Hi, Chamaka. How are you doing, namesake? Hi, Esther Jonah. Thank you so much. 
Hi, Udome. Thank you. Thank you. Where on planet Earth have you been? I've been to London to see that queen. I wonder I should not die. I'm here. I've been around. Just I've been busy, man. Life was life in me. Your sister, your sister was mm, life was life in me, man. See, 49 minutes and I've only made three. Ah, we die yet today. We'll be fine. Since is sleeping. But I've been okay, Eunice. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so so much. I've been good, man. How have you guys been though? Like what has been happening? Everybody has been good. I've been seeing people's comments and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm good. Get them hair beads. It's beautiful. I have beads. See, I even bought new sets. I have beads. So, but first of all, the beads is too much work. I'm not going to lie, okay? Secondly, they don't really like it because it's kind of like prevents them from sleeping. Like, when they are laying down, it's kind of like... Do you get what I'm saying? They don't like I asked Ellie if she wanted beads. She said no. I brought the beads to put on her. She said she does not want beads, so I left it. But yeah, they have a lot of beads, different types. Hi, people on YouTube. What's up? People are not saying anything. What did I do to you people? Eh? No comment. Let's see happen. You will know that I have lost a lot of subscribers on YouTube, like on a daily basis. And I get it. I've not been posting. And that's the thing with YouTube. If people wait for you, wait for you, and they tired, they just unsubscribe. I went from almost, yeah, I lost a lot of followers. Don't get me wrong. I gained a lot. Let me tell you something. I was on YouTube for three years. Wait, 2019, 2020, 2021. Yeah, 2020. So I was on YouTube for three years. And it was hard for me to get up to 10,000 subscribers on youtube the moment i stopped posting i went from ten thousand to fifty nine thousand like who does that how does that even happen i'm like maybe i should keep staying away and then people continue to subscribe but then i started posting videos again and now i'm losing subscribers good to have you back beautiful i hope you ain't going anywhere i'm not going anywhere anymore adobe i promise i dare i'm not going anywhere again trust me you guys i'm so sorry for leaving man thank you so much for coming back missed you too fatima thank you so much okay your children's hair are beautiful thank you so much i promise i'm not going anywhere again except god said i should go except god said i should go but I didn't really go anywhere, just that I've been busy, you know, trying to figure some things out. But at some point, I told myself, Biachamaka, it's time. Let's go back to, you know, doing this. But yeah, I'm back, and to the best of my knowledge, I won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Because I told myself, 2024, I'm coming back as a full-time content creator. I just needed that time to, you know... Uh, should I say I was I was gonna turn 30 and is it just me? Who else was having like or who else? I know a lot of people that watch me are like my age mates between the ages of age peer, age group, age my friend on the agree make I call my age mates, but age peer group, okay, which is between the ages of 25 and 35. Do any of you like ever feel at at a certain age you begin to have Midlife crisis. <laughs> I feel like that's what I was having. I feel like I was having midlife crisis, okay? And I needed to figure myself out. But then I realized I wasn't crashing anywhere. Anytime soon, I had to bounce back. But yeah, I'm good now. I'm all good. Hi, Annabelle. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. How are you doing? Thank you. Hi. Oh, God, I cannot pronounce your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to try. I'm going to try because I've been sp trying to learn a lot of new languages of recent. Give me one second. I'll try and pronounce your name. Go, 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 go,
Zigoshio. I'm so sorry if I didn't pronounce it very well, but how are you doing? Shout out from the Philippines. Oh, thank you so much. Shout out to you too. How are you doing today? Thank you for being here. Your name is even Chamaka. Oh, come back. My name said before, but you don't know. Don't I look like a Chamaka? My name is Chamaka. Eh? You've not heard of Van or Pum Pum. I'm the one and only. My name is Chamaka. Yes. I actually answered Chamaka from primary school till before I got married. It was. I'm such a, like everybody knows me. Everybody I went to primary school and secondary school we knew me as Chamaka, right? But like in university, which was in Naked, everybody knew me as Songwa. Yeah. But then the moment I stepped into America, <laughs> I started going by Millicent. Because um when they ask you to fill out your name, they ask you to fill out in Nigeria we do first name, we do last name, which they call surname, right? And then we do middle name which is our english name and then we do first name right but then when i was filling out my stuff to come to the united states they i they asked me to put my first name and i put my english name i don't know but they asked for the first name first and i put english name. i don't know how they did that but anyways when i went for my biometrics thing they were calling me millicent millicent and i love the sound of that the way all you people were pronouncing it, it made me feel like queen elizabeth i was like yes baby immediately i changed my facebook name to millicent <laughs> i changed it to millicent everybody was asking me how because say you go but you don't change your name already eh is it because you're going to america eh i said that one let it kill you let it kill you dear hmm? hit more jealousy but the name kind of sounded sweet when I, when I thought it sounds it still sounds sweet. Actually, when you both people pronounce it like this, I think they're swimming for mouth. Uh, but then then they were calling me Millicent and I was acting like Chamaka. I was saying, but I need to push up my attitude. You know what I'm saying? I need to push up my attitude to meet the standard of this name. Have you ever looked up the meaning of my name before? Ah, you will be blessed. It's a very beautiful name. If I have another daughter, I'll name her Millicent. So she'll be Millicent Junior. Because I feel like that name is such a beautiful name, it shouldn't phase out. And whenever I say the name, people look at me like I'm from the 1980s. So I'm like, come that kill dear. Come on, write the name very well, my friend. It's a beautiful name. So, oh, thank you, Dacus. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's my name, baby. How did you know? <laughs> My first baby is Chamak and the second is Chidima. Oh, that's sweet. But I thought like um, Choma is usually like a first baby's name. Although my second baby, I named her Choma. But like Choma is usually like... I'm tired of this hair. Zendaya is such a sweet baby. I will make and remake, make and remake and she's still sleeping. If it is Dio and she will cry. But yeah, Choma is usually like first children's name. Everybody I know that is Choma is a first child. But then I named my first child and called her Norma instead. You guys, I started watching 911. On. I said, how many of you here watch 911 on? Is it ABC or CBS? I don't even know. But I started watching 911 and that's like the best show I have ever watched since my time of watching television. It is so interesting. And now, one of my new contents that I've started making is me reacting or analyzing or kind of like explaining to my children about 911 calls and reacting to 911 calls. I'll be posting the videos on my second page, many sense and Dax too. So on my second page, I'm hoping to be posting a lot of like, I'm hoping to post in live videos there. Okay. Because I'm on a serious weight loss journey. Okay. So I'm hoping to start posting, um, my, I'll be doing live videos over there to kind of like work out every day, hold myself accountable, you know, work out. So I'll be sharing that over there and then I'll be posting these other videos over there for you guys. So if you like those kind of videos, which you will like it, okay, trust me, you'll like it. I will show you guys very soon. Please do not forget to follow that page. 
okay if i can get up to fifty thousand followers on that page by the end of this year that will mean the world to me and people on youtube i don't know what i've done to you people but if i can get up to hundred thousand see i've not gotten any award in my life before ah and first we know the agree give award upon say i'm about to reach a million followers not even um gift card not talk of play button to say ah mainly sent to oh, congratulations nothing youtube you should do eh let me get to hundred thousand followers over there subscribers so that youtube can have i can have something that has my name on it please i can't go beg on okay and joe anyways i'll be posting that video over there when people see it i beg please like and share okay mm. we need to meet as my name say come in california where in california are you chamaka where in california are you my husband is a a bo you mean a do ah my sister waiting this hair will bring me today. This hair will call my name today. I beg. Do you mean your husband is a doll? Add the braiding hair to the middle braid for easier grabbing and plating. Hope I explain it well. Lebu, trust me, eh? I did every style ever that I could watch on YouTube. I, even the one you're just saying now. It did not work for me, but I'm still practicing. This is my first, this is my second time. I practiced with Emma, so it took me four hours to get one braid on Emma. Four hours, okay? And it took me two days to actually finish her hair. But I'll, I'll keep practicing till I get it right. Honestly, when it gets to um, Dior's turn, I'll just do whatever it is I can do and get it done. I will not do all of this on her hair. That hair is disturbing me. I'm just going to leave it and do the next one. But trust me, I've done that one you, you're saying. And the truth is that I don't understand that what you just said. But I know that I've done it. Because there's nothing they've shown me on, on YouTube I've not done. And I'm not the type to not understand something though. But this one had me, I beg. I don't know if it is the attachment though because I'm talking. Yesterday when I made this one, it took me two hours to finish making this side. Even though she was sleeping, but because I was not talking, I'm making a video. It was easy for me to finish. Says, keep your hair. Oh, you're in San Diego. Ah, San Diego is far. But the truth is, that I love to meet people. Ah, ever since I was away, mm, I've made a lot of new friends around here. Both Nigerians, both Brazilians, both Mexicans, both Indians, both um, Egyptians. Like I have a lot of new friends, and we meet up on a daily basis. And yeah, I love to have new friends. If you live around me, they hook um, hit me up. Okay, hit me up. But San Diego is far. San Diego is far. Maybe anytime you come to um. This area, Central Valley, they hit me up, okay? Yeah. I love to meet a lot of new people. My husband, oh, your husband is Igbo, okay? You know, we spell it E G B O, Igbo. That Igbo is people that are not Igbo that spell it Igbo. <laughs> it's E G B O, but that is also, where are you from, though? Fatima, where are you from? From Abia, your husband is Igbo from Abia. Which side in Abia? I grew up in Abia State. I grew up in Abba, and I went to school in Abai, and I was kidnapped in Omai. Have I told you people my kidnap story? I know I've told you people. I said you want me to tell it again because that's what live video is about. We talking with no cause. I went to person no action. <laughs> but yeah, I was kidnapped in no worry and taken to. Abia State in all my like I found myself in all my it's a long story, my sister. And guess what? I always remember this story around Easter because it actually happened on Easter Sunday. <laughs> it actually happened on Easter Sunday, man. That was like one of the worst days of my life. But I'm glad I survived it. Not something you would ever wish on anybody. Hi Stella, how are you doing? You love the name. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Because I feel like whenever I'm smiling, that this my top lip is just like this. Like it's just standing by itself. And my down teeth and jaw and lips is just standing by itself. So sometimes I just lick my lips just to have both of them together. See this one, see how this one works. 
See how clean this one is. Yeah, the thing, the thing name me my girl, like the thing, it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Thank God, my finally kid, my final. What are you saying? Faith vibes. Faith vibes. How have you been? Long time, baby girl. What's up? Oh my God, how are you? How are the kids doing? And when I see your name, I, 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 I don't remember them, but I know I've come across your page, right? But your name, I know you, it is God's time. God's time, long time, eh? God's time, God's time. Ah, God's time, wait till happen. I don't see you for YouTube anymore. Wait till happen. Oh, shy. <laughs> Oh, it's been a long time, man. If you go on YouTube now, YouTube is so dry. Nobody's on YouTube anymore. I feel like content creation has evolved. That a lot of people have gone to different places. There was a time YouTube was, it was just YouTube for everybody. And it was like a do or die affair for everybody. So it became so saturated, so toxic. But now everybody has moved on to different platform. But I don't believe in just going to one platform and staying. Mm -mm. Awesome. I don't believe in just staying in one platform. Nah, I'm going to be on every platform, even if it is dying. Even if it is dying, I'm going to be on every platform. Because if there's anything Facebook has taught me, is the fact that I shouldn't put my eggs in one basket. Facebook demonetized me from what? August of last year till this year till this month last two weeks Saturday last week Saturday no wait, today is this before this Saturday that ended yesterday they demonetized me for more than six seven months and those months no reason whatsoever they just demonetized me and they just brought me back of recent which if I was creating content and even though I'm monetized, I was monetized on YouTube, I didn't have the audience. Even though I had the subscribers, it's one thing to have audiences. I'm not to have subscribers. I have subscribers, but I didn't have the audience. Yeah. So life has taught me: do not put all your all your eggs in one basket anymore. So right now, any video I post here, I would take my time and go to all my other platforms, post it, and then come back and edit another one, just like that. One of them must go viral, and I must blow on one of them. Don't the fair devil. Anyways, even with my mouth have started paining me, I'm not talking anymore. I beg. Let me just stay here and keep making this hair until somebody asks me a question. See, I cut this one bad. This one is not very cut. That's okay. It's going to be big like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. You guys, I heard that Mr. Ibu died. I came back to social media and I was seeing pe um, people talking about his death. I've been so every I, I'm not even like I don't even know the man in person, but if I just remember him like this, I'll feel so sad. I remembered him this morning, man. I felt so sad. Out of the blue, I'll just remember him. Out of nowhere, I'll just remember him as well. May he so rest in peace. But you guys tell me what have you guys been up to though? Like what has been happening? What has everybody been doing? Trust me, I really, really love your name because my sister has the same name. Really? Like Millicent? Is it the Millicent or the Chamaka? Which one? Run away, bestie! <laughs> Uda, how are you? I did not run. Uh, I jumped back. <laughs> how are you doing? Long time. Oh, bestie, welcome back. Oh, thank you for coming. My sister, I did not run. Oh. Now, wait till they call her. Now, something will make her fish burn. I mean, that's how they say it, Abby. But yeah, I didn't know. So, um, Lebu said, put it in the middle one. Okay, let me see. Put it in the middle one. 
me see. Why did this thing pour on the floor? What is here? Yeah, attachment. This your hair is giving me high jab. <laughs> high jab vibe. Make sense of this standing on your inner safe face. Don't be a little safe face. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, face vibes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But like, hi, Ja. Really? Really? Ah. <laughs> thank you. No, it did not work. It did not work. See? They said it's not. No, it did not work. Lebri really did not work. It's the, the millicent. Really? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I love my name, man. I love my name. And honestly, it was because of my name that I started to choose unique names for my kids. You know how you enter the class when I was growing up? Oh, I used to feel, I wouldn't use the word jealous, but like people that were answering Jacinta, Jessica, um, 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 Sandra, you know, a lot of people were answering a lot of like, you enter the class, everybody have this fancy English name. Me, I couldn't even pronounce my English name at that point, okay? I couldn't pronounce my English name. But, like, people had a lot of, like, I felt, when I was growing up, I felt like when everybody has the same name, that means they were, like, cool and, you know, sophisticated. But then as, you, as I grew old, I realized that I like the fact that I'm the only person that is answering my name that I know of. Does that make sense? And if you enter my kids' class, they are the only ones answering their name. And when I, whenever I go to Emma's school, the teacher will be like, Emma, I'm like, mm, her name is not Emma, her name is Emma Comfort. Because there are other kids answering Emma, and that comfort needs to be there. Because no, you're not going to come and call my, my daughter Emma X, Emma C, M -mm -mm. call her Emma Comfort. Because in American schools, whenever kids have the same first name they are they they call them by their first name and then the first letter of their last name i don't think that's cute i call my daughter the name i gave her with i gave birth to her with so i love the fact that my kids have like these unique names that they don't have to be if you come into their class you'll be looking for everybody will be answering the same name so what am i saying since i'm sorry what am I saying? I, that kind of made me like my name growing. Oh, now that I'm grown up, but when I was a kid, I didn't really like it that much. But my name gave me the idea to kind of like call my children by their by their um, by unique names. Yeah. But do you know that if when I, whenever we go out now, if somebody asks and they are saying, what is your name? They don't ask her, excuse me, hey, baby girl, what's your name? She's like, my name is Ugoma. She does not tell them her name is Zendia. She says her name is Ugoma. I'm like, the girl is obsessed with her Igbo name. She wants people to be calling her by her Igbo name. Oh, your star is doing good. Oh, that's good to know. Welcome. You're so cute, mama. Thank you, Joy. God when is it man of God when what? <laughs> what are you God when? In? Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria and I live in California. Where are you from? Jeff Riggins, where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. God knows that this hair is not has not given what it's supposed to give. <clears throat> You guys, as I was talking about um um this thing, the video. Imagine that you make a video, or you post a video or a live video where you're working out to lose weight, yet somebody is coming there and telling you how fat your stomach is and how you should stop it. Not saying you go do this word that they will ever like that people will not talk. That's what I'm trying to get to. There's nothing you do that people will not talk. You came to a live video that somebody is making a live video telling you how she's trying to lose weight. And you're telling her, oh, stop eating. And stop taking those medications that is making you to be fat. That's why you're fat. See how big your stomach is. Did I not know that my stomach is big before I came to come and start losing weight? 
and then somebody said hmm, look at you in 2020 you people were making all of us that are fat feel like we are nothing by doing weight loss and now fat has finally caught up with you <laughs> i was laughing oh my god that's like the craziest thing i've ever heard until i was losing weight because i was not healthy and then i gained weight you don't know why i gained weight and you're saying now fat has finally caught up with you i see fat is something that is supposed to like fat is not a thing it's not a human being people are so so what's the word i will use should i use uneducated oh man i was so flambergasted with that kind of comment man i was like fat has finally caught up with me people get fat for a lot of reasons but somebody that is saying this thing now in i don't even know what to say and not sound dumb and stupid as she as she sounded to me but what am i trying to say if um my goal my goal for this summer is to get my summer body back okay gaining weight is not something i decided you know what i'm going to gain weight i'm not trying to compete in 600 pound life life happened and yeah i gained so much weight like i got up to imagine going from 163 pounds to 216 pounds that's a lot a whole lot but if there's one thing i've learned over this period that was away is that i'm going to love my body at every single point that i was because let me tell you one of the biggest problem i had that made me gain weight i don't owe anybody an explanation but i'm just trying to talk to keep this video going so that i'm not wasting the time of the people that are watching me see somebody i'm making her head when i got down to 163 pounds i was still very embarrassed of my shape oh, my weight i'm like jesus christ i'm nothing enough have you heard of body this is it dysphoria i mean dysmoria how do they say it i'm gonna need a, a, a dictionary dysphoria that's how they say it right body dysphoria somebody help me look up the, that's the first thing that came to my head because i think i heard it somewhere can somebody help me find what's the meaning of body dysphoria somebody help me type in the comment section let me see if i'm making the right sense i don't want to talk and sound stupid okay you can't please all humans even when you're asleep. I'm telling you, man. But somebody help me write down the meaning of body dysphoria. If I'm not mistaken, body dysphoria is kind of like at any point you are in, you still hate your body because you feel like you're never enough. I don't know if that's the meaning. Help me out, okay? Anyways, I was 163 pounds. Body dysphoria. What's the meaning, Lindy? What's the meaning? That's the meaning, right? not being satisfied with your body am i right help me out thank you so much so far you're on track see thank you i'm educated <laughs> i know english yo see don't talk to me anyhow i know english body dysphoria on point i was having body dysphoria because at 163 pounds and as a weight loss coach ah I would climb this scale. I would say, Jesus, what am I going to enter size small? Size extra small. At that point, I was size small. Remember, I was going, I went from size 14 to size 12 to size 10 to size 8. To size 8, kind of like one year 7. And I was still struggling to get that size 6. And I was not satisfied with myself. I would take pictures like this. I would squeeze my stomach. I want to take find the right angle to take the picture somebody that is doing this thing i literally just had a baby four months ago a baby that i was literally breastfeeding but at this point i was no longer breastfeeding because i was working out not because i was working out because she 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 didn't actually want to breastfeed so i stopped breastfeeding because she wouldn't take breast milk she was taking formula i don't know if my breast milk got soured or something but it was no sweet okay <laughs> so the baby refused breast milk so i was walking out and i was looking good but i was never satisfied and I would look at myself my stomach was not giving me six packs i was squeeze it out wear waist trainer i was selling waist trainer i wear waist trainer still nothing I will fast for five days, seven days, nothing. I was just, like, I just got stuck. 163 was the highest I could go down to. I became sad. And I was like, you know what? 
excuse my language, but I was like, fuck this, I don't do it again, I don't do it again, don't have fire all of you, don't have, don't have fire them, I don't do it again. I, I was so mad about myself because even at that point, every single picture that I post, at that point, that I was 163 pounds and my stomach was bulging out for any reason, somebody writes in the comment section, ah, you started gaining weight though. Are you pregnant already? Ah, see your nose. My nose is naturally big. Do you know that somebody told me today that I should go and do work on my nose? That I should go and work on my nose. My nose does not fit me. My nose does not. My nose is ruining my beauty. I'm looking at somebody that is saying this thing. She looks like something that the devil used to give somebody high five. <laughs> like this girl, whoa, whoa. God forgive me. God, sorry, I beg. You get whoa, whoa. You get look like some paper. I said, look at this. I'm calling kettle black. You don't even resent. You don't even reach half, half of pan. You don't call kettle black. You do your thought of fair on my dear. But this girl told me that my nose is too big that she can't do work on it. So now, if somebody give me money, or if I get money now, go do surgery on my nose, people will be happy. Like people, this fine nose, like this. See, if they, do you know why people are following me? Do you know why people like me on this social media? It's because of my nose. If my nose was like every other person's nose, like Nancy Simmons, you will not follow me. But that is the truth. If say I get Nancy Simon nose or Ketensha nose or, or uh, what was her name or Jennifer Lopez nose, people won't follow me. Is this nose that is making everybody to follow me? Have you seen anybody like anybody like me before? I'm special, and that's what people don't understand. The moment I mishandle this nose, it is over for me. My career is over because this is my signature nose. That somebody says I should go and work on it. This thing. This is like bigger than your father's pothole. Eh? <laughs> I beg go. Anyways, what am I trying to say? There is nothing you will ever look like in this world that will make people happy, that people will be satisfied about. And when I was doing this whole weight loss something, no matter how much I tried to, you know, I, first of all, I was not losing weight or trying. Mm -mm. That whole losing weight was like, for me, it was more of, I can do this. Because trust me, people... People said a lot of nasty stuff to me, even though I just had a baby. But you know, when you're on social media, people are always going to say nonsense. That's the nature of the job, right? And plus, I reached out to a lot of brands, and no brand would work with me. And most of them, to me, it was because, to me, not, they not tell me face to face. So let me know if I exaggerate. But I took it that it was because I was not as slim and susky and fine as other people. So I took it really personal to lose weight so I can fit into, you know, the kind of people that brands wanted to work with. And the truth is that when I finally lost weight, a lot of brands started reaching out to me and I told them, go to hell. I don't want to work with you anymore. Let me use my fine and do something for myself. Because I know say I'm fine. I know I'm beautiful, you know. So the whole thing kind of made me mad. But even after I lost all that weight, I was still not happy because it was more of, oh, I was not a size extra small. My stomach was not um, like giving six packs. And most importantly, my cheeks would not slow down, would not calm down, right? But ever since I, I stopped doing the whole weight loss something and became sad and started eating and gained weight, I came across one of my baby pictures and I realized that my face has always been like this. Literally, my face has not changed a bit. And I realized that even at that point, I was literally 90 something pounds as a child. My cheeks were this big. That's nature. Like that's my, it's not that it's nature. Like that is my body. That's my face is never going to change. So even if I do any kind of, magic and lose weight my face is never gonna be like kim kardashian's straight face and i have accepted that and that was the day i told myself Mini said no matter at any point i get to at any point i am with my body i'm going to like it will i complain absolutely because you know, if i go to the mirror i'll be like ah I see my stomach i'm going to complain but i'm not going to hate myself like i did in 2020 when i was slim i still do not like myself what am I trying to say? Me, coming back to social media and posting about this whole weight loss something. 
it's not this time i'm not doing it to come and you know motivate anybody or carry anybody along or do weight loss coaching i'm not doing none of that the only reason i'm doing it is because i want to grow my page and keep my page um have content that i'm putting on my page if I'm telling the truth, that's the only truth. That's the only reason I'm doing it because I want. I don't want to because now that this my page is monetized, I don't want to leave that page hanging. So I just want to monetize the live video on that page, and get paid, okay? Because I'm not going to lie to you. People tell you they're on social media because of this, 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 like, like all of us are on social media because social media is paying money, and we're here to work and get paid, right? And I'm going to be honest. That's the only reason I'm keeping that page. So in case they demonetize this one, I have a page to go back to. That's the only reason. I'm not posting the videos there to, you know, be usually I, I, I've come here and I've told people, oh, I'm going back with loss, with loss. No, this time around is for real. And I want people to watch me do it in real time while also going that page, going the content on that page, that's all. So yes, will there be negative comments? Absolutely. Will people talk as if they don't have sense? Absolutely. I'm going to deal with it as long as at the end of the day, again, it's making money. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> but yeah. I love the nose, please, my friend. Actually, I'm the same nose like you. <laughs> Lindy, thank you. And you know, it's funny because I get comments like, oh, people will tag their friend and be like, oh, this lady looks like you. And I go to that their friend's page that they tag. And I realize that the only thing that connect that makes that person look like me is my nose. I'm like, oh yeah, she actually looks like me. Like people comment on my page and they say, You look like Judy Austin. I say you people mad or something. Because we have the same type of nose. Oh well, I look like Judy Austin. Judy Austin looks like me, okay? But yeah, I feel like there is just a few of us in this world that have this kind of nose. Very few. And continue to watch the people that have this kind of nose. We're gonna go places. This nose will open doors. It will become a key hole. I'll be knob. It will become a knob. We need to open. We use this to so open places in this life. I ate all of it. Where people will be will be hip boring. Hip boring over our nose. Ah, come and see the girl that told me I should go and walk on my nose, please. The audacity. The audacity. Just bring her and slap on her nyash. She just lay her lesson by force. Anyways, it's well. Oh, thank you so much, Lindy. Thank you. <laughs> Vic, I love your hair. Oh, thank you. I got it from Love Me Hair. This is out of the box. Like, I did not do this. Okay, I, I, can't, I can't do this. This is, The hair came like this from the box. I watched the video where you, you were gifting. We were watching. I had to give out my waist trainer. I had to give up. Hi, Susan. Are you awake? Are you awake? I'm making your pink hair, see? Wow. You like it? Okay, let me finish, okay? Yeah, I had to. I ended up giving away all my waist trainers, but this dysmorphia it causes you to worry about the flaws of your body or how it looks. You see things in your body that no one else sees. Exactly, people will see then they do people, good people. Well, I don't know, but like some people be like, Oh, you look so beautiful. So people will still complain, say, Oh, you look fat. But me, every time I look at myself, I see myself as fat 163. Right now, if you take me to 182, 180 something, I'll be very happy. Even 190 something, I'll be very happy. So this weight loss now that I'm there, I started at 216. Right now, I'm at 204. I'm still working on it, but I'm still like a very fat everywhere. But I keep telling myself, every time I check the scale, I'm like, that's okay. We got this. One day at a time. One day at a time. And slowly, we'll get there. Going this for is a term used to describe a negative or uncomfortable feeling about one's body. This can include one's body is not the right shape, size. Oh, thank you. People with body for may feel that their body does not match their internal sense of self. This can lead to feelings of anxiety, depression, and low self esteem. Um, body dysphoria can be related to gender dysphoria. Ah, no, nah. <laughs> you never reached that one, but people who experience body dysphoria may seek to the true therapy, lifestyle changes. Oh, sorry. Now, I sought my own this thing through food. I was just eating like a mad person. I was just eating. Ah. In addition to a lot of other things that I was, I was busy with, so it was just food. Like some days I'll eat six seven times a day i'm not kidding you 
I was eating like crazy, man. But it's well. Since I'm not touching the okay? care. When you're worried about your physical appearance, yeah? I was so worried. Which, honestly... <laughs> Lady, you have no idea. Don't worry. Honestly, I wish I can go back to that my 160-something body right now. I, I would be so, so happy. My goal, my actual body goal is 145. 145, 150. Because according to my app, that is where I'm supposed to be. That is my healthy body goal. Because of my height, I'm 5'7". And it says I'm supposed to be 145, 150. And I've seen people in my height that are 145, 150, and I feel like they look good. But I don't think I'll ever get down to that point. And plus, at that 163 that I'm complaining about, though, or I was complaining about, I was looking really good. I was looking like I was 16. Like, if I get down to that at this point, that would be a huge miracle. That would be a huge miracle, and I'll be grateful. You know, I'll be so grateful. And I will not, I'll never let it go again. Except I carry belly. <laughs> except I carry belly. But yeah. I'm really taking it seriously this time. And I'm really hoping to, you know, get down to something. Hi, Obi Man. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. Sensen, we're almost done, okay, mommy? Okay. You guys, I came across a video on YouTube. This woman braided her daughter's hair for four hours. For that four hours, this woman was live on YouTube. Let me not tell you the, the craziest thing about that video. That video has one point something million views. I was like, what? And Duma was not talking like this, so she was not talking for that four hours. She, if there was even camera that the woman did not care she did not it's not that she did not know she knew but she didn't care because for one second which i did not watch the whole thing so do not um hold me accountable for what i'm about to say but like for one second this woman did not turn to the camera to say hello to talk to anybody she was there for four hours camera just did like this she just did talk to her husband though even the people that were busy fighting or fighting over food though even the daughter was there, wash out the Coco Melon, all the um, Princess Sophia, everything watching. But this woman, the daughter was watching. I'm like, what are you braiding for four hours? Me, I braided for like the whole day and a half, right? But like, she was live for that whole period. Not on camera, but the daughter's head was just dead there. People watched that view, one point something million views. Ah, I said, God, when? God, when? Anyways, I know that I think one of the biggest problems I'm having these days with content creating is that I over judge myself. Like, I'm becoming so critic, so critical about myself. When I first started creating content, okay, I was non challenged. I didn't give it. Emma, comfort. Is this your glasses on the floor? Like, on the floor? Have you lost your mind? Sorry for yourself. Just imagine. Hmm. When I first started creating content on YouTube, when I first started, I didn't really care about a lot of stuff. And honestly, not that I don't care, but then YouTube, it was supposed to be just fun. Fun and games for me, right? But there's something somebody told me. If you're going to create content full-time, creating content is like going to... You, you you think you don't have a job, but you have a job. Your job is creating content. And creating content, which is like a job, is like waking up and dressing up and going to work. Mommy, yes, I baby. Want you want to do what? I want to drink mango juice. You want to drink mango juice? Spell mango juice. I don't know how to spell mango juice. You don't know how to spell mango juice. But you wanna drink mango juice? You can't drink what you can't spell. Can you spell pink? <laughs> pink. Emma, please get mango juice for Zendaya. Thank you. Get mango juice for Zendaya, please. Thank you. 
But yeah, I didn't used to care about um, a lot of things before. How many times do I have to say it? I say, please get mango juice for Zendaya. One thing I have learned is to be shameless in every decent thing I do. True, absolutely. To be shameless. But there's a thin line. Let me let me explain, right? When I first started creating content on social media, in the end, I will come on social media. Now, I'm only saying this thing because there's just a few of you online. Don't tell anybody. Okay, let it be between me and you. Just me and you. Let's not raise our voices, okay? Uh, but when I first started creating content, I didn't care, right? I would come on with my hair bonnet. I would come on with my, like, like, I would, not like on purpose, but to me, I'm, I'm being real, I'm being raw, right? My clothes would be torn and I'll wear it like that. I don't care. But then, my kids began to grow up, began to go to school. They began to grow up, they began to go to school, right? And when Emma said I to go to school, again, I didn't care. I would go to drop her off. I would wear my nightwear to go and drop her off at school. You know, I would go to pick them up. I would just wear anything. So I'm like, see, if people, I'm going to be real the way that I'm in real life. Like, how do I put this straight without sounding dumb and stupid again? <laughs> okay, this is the time that I was saying you. I did not care, right? But then when I started dropping my kids off at school, I saw how other moms who do not have a job like me and they are not into content creation, but how they are intentional about taking care of themselves. My sister. Since they ain't gonna bomb What is it? I'm gonna some of the mango juice. Why? Because your sister asked for mango juice. All of a sudden, mango juice is shocking all of you now. Eh? Spell mango juice. Eh? Mm hmm. Hurry up, don't waste my time. Mm -hmm. No, you've failed it. Come and be going. No mango juice for you. Spell mango. Hurry up, you're wasting my time. Man, go. Man, go. Go and write it down on a piece of paper. Go. As I was saying, I saw how these other moms who do not have anything doing, right? How they were very, very intentional about the way they look and come to drop off their kids and pick up their kids. Now, hear me out, right? At first, I'm like, oh my God, Jesus. And let me tell you the truth. And this is coming from somebody who have turned 30 and gone through midlife crisis and taking time to, like, reevaluate her lifestyle choices. Jesus. Okay, but, Emma, give to yours some too. Here you go. The, Don't put um, it on the other, The mango juice is finished. The other one I can barely open. Okay. Dio, you, you can have it next time. That's ma majo. That's not even mango. There's no G there. Anyways, as I was saying. Nobody should tell me again. I'm saying something very important. As I was saying, right? I, at first, when I started creating content, when I see people being all intentional about critical i'm like jesus this is too much work and the truth is that it's not too much work because i'm just getting into this routine of having to video myself and then edit and then post myself and i'm trying to i was pregnant and i'm handling three kids that are very young right i don't have time to come and be dressed up and, mm, i didn't have time for that so when i saw people who had time for that i was kind of low-key jealous i'm like jesus you're doing so much so when I said I'm going to go and drop off my kids, I'll see these moms are like, Jesus, these moms are doing so much. But in the, I realized that these women are older than me. They're in their 40s, in their early 50s, and they come to drop off their children and they are looking good. And the truth is that I was jealous at some point because I'm like, if these women, yes, I get it, you have only two children or you have only one children and you have all the time in the world to take, off, take care of your children. And still take care of yourself. Me, I'm younger than you. My energy is times two of what this woman has. How long will it take me to take care of myself? Do you get what I'm saying? That was how I started to wear wig to go and pick up my children. And then I would stupidly wear wig to go and pick up my children. My children would stupidly ask me, Mommy, are we going out? I say no. Why did you wear wig to my pick me up? So I would say, if I slap you, shut up. Why do you have to ask me why I have to wear wig? <laughs> 
women to come there looking like I'm the only housewife in this neighborhood. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, at first, I didn't care. And I realized that if at any point, at any point, right, these other kids, they are growing up and they they see how their moms are intentional about the way they look and the way they present themselves. I didn't want my girl children to grow up and think it's okay to look jaga jaga and be walking up and down. Don't get me wrong, right? I was not raised to think, I was not raised to be intentional about myself because my mom always says this thing, you're beautiful, come and be going, period. She knew her kids were beautiful and that's all she had to tell us. You don't need makeup. You don't need all those things. You're beautiful. Come and be going. Do you get what I'm saying? So, but for me, and again, I'm going to say this in a very low voice. Don't hold me accountable for this. Don't, don't go and tell somebody, okay? And somebody who have girl children. Please don't cancel me because of what I'm about to say. God, I beg. For somebody that have girl children. I wanted to start now and start teaching my children how to, you know, you're supposed to fix your nails, you're supposed to wear your foundation, do your eyebrow, do your hair, so that they will not grow up and tell me they want to become a boy. Be cool. <laughs> be cool. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you know they had, you know they had, all these things, they had, small thing, like a small mistake, jagam, jagam, your children, you don't lose her like that, you know. I wanted to start now and start teaching them how to do all those things so that they get used to it and be all feminine, feminine, feminine. Mm -hmm. People understand. Okay, enough of that side. But I saw how these other women were very intentional about taking care of themselves. My sister, that was how I went to Costco. I bought collagen before. If you see my skin, <laughs> if you see my skin, my skin just the as I, and as you're getting older all these things begin to like affect you all this it affects you that's the truth but now i have skincare routine i even bought this one i see asian people putting their face inside inside what's it called um dishwasher i went and i bought the actual steam something from amazon now every day i steam my face and they see skin skin is skinny you can't tell me nothing okay i steam my face I put on my collagen peptide and my biometrics. <laughs> I put on everything. I go, I take my time, I work out, I take a good shower every day, okay? <laughs> I look good and I feel good. You know, like I am intentional right now and I'm so proud of myself. You know, the one I've not come to terms with is this one. Mm. Hi, Shady! How are you doing? Long time. What is it? Yes, it's good. Is it now you're seeing it? Is it fine? <laughs> Thank you. It's my hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Shabby. How are you doing? <laughs> Seriously, it's too much work, I must confess. I went to the break since I couldn't handle my studies and posting online. Like, it's too much. It's too much. That is the truth. But in the, you have to pick your battles and your priorities, okay? And that was very overwhelming for me that was one of the reasons i took a break i needed to find a way to balance all those things i needed to find a way to balance it and i'm happy to report that i've balanced it very well and it feels good to have it all not all figured out but at least to an extent balanced okay so what am i trying to say all of this seeing people looking good they don't just the truth is that they don't just come out and they just look good overnight you know it takes work it takes a lot of intentional you know thing going on with them and it took me time to tell myself okay it's time to become intentional about this thing because you, know, you cannot be looking like what you're going through before your enemies love you to stoop okay <laughs> yeah that's the end of my story what was i even saying that brought me to this whole thing but yeah, and another thing is, as my kids grew older, I realized that I was, I would go back to those videos I posted in 2019, and I would go and I would be putting most of them in private. Hi, Uncle Chuku, how are you doing? I'll be putting most of them in private because now you're seeing yourself like in 2024, and you're realizing that... You're not that person you were in 2019 anymore. It's growth, and growth is very important. And it's okay to grow. 
it's okay to you know have some sense of growth because anybody that is where they are in 2019 and 2024 that person what is going on with you you understand so i look at my pictures or my videos from 2019 i'm putting most of them in private because shame they catch me shape they can't because uh, i don't want to know now i'm meeting up with sandra bullock and i'm looking like ah didn't i just see your video and, and she's not me oh. <laughs> it's not me oh. okay so i'm putting most of them in from private so that my my future will match up with <laughs> you get what i'm saying it's a match up with the the future me and not people and you know they have people to go and start digging up something for your past don't get me wrong Anything anybody dig up from before, I'm proud of it. I will hold myself responsible for it because there's, like I said, nothing somebody will tell me. Change is very important. And if somebody say, oh, you were this person before, don't that fair your mama did. Uh -huh. And so even if I was, can't I change? Can't I change? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyways, I forgot what brought me to this. Good evening, Madam Sandex. Good evening. Good evening from Nam Namibia. It's 3 a.m. You are so my, my role model. Oh, thank you so much, Grace. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I love you too, Evelyn. Thank you. Thank you. My touch of scatter. Look at that. I fixed it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lindy, you're laughing, but it's true now. Nah. It's true. We tell ourselves the truth. I shame the devil. You know? When when I when I stopped wearing, <laughs> let me take my first thing. When I when I stopped wearing like my hair bonnet and all that stuff in 2019, in 2020, somebody sent me a message. So like, Millicent, your followers, your people are no longer watching your video because you're no longer you're now acting bougie. You're no longer acting like the Millicent, like the baby or who we know. See, I cannot change my personality, but I can change the way I present myself. That's what I always tell people. I am I'm never gonna change who I am. And dressing up and presenting yourself better or as you should does not mean that you're trying to change who you are. No. Personality is still the same. I just need to present myself better. Because I've seen comedians or people who are funny who still look good. Look at AY. AY be cruising from one cruise ship to the other, talking from one talking to uh, one governor, from one governor to the other. But in the UK, can have one more tunnel, but he's still a comedian. You know what I'm saying? He does not have to look like a tout or a homeless person just to prove that he's funny. And that's what I was trying to make people understand. But a lot of people, I lost a lot of followers then because I was no longer acting like Bibiok or showing up as Bibiok. Oh, this one gets killed. We stay, do you guys stay? We stay in California. The state of California, baby. What about you? You're in Houston, Texas. Awesome. I was just talking about Houston a few minutes ago. A lot of Nigerians are in Houston. I've never been to Houston before. And to think that I stayed in Texas for how many years? I never went to Houston. I never went to Austin. I've not been to a lot of places, though. But I will. I will. Once I turn 40 years old, I'll just enter. What is this? Um... ROV and I will go around the whole country. <laughs> that's what people do in their forties, right? Yeah, I'll just travel around the country by the grace of God. I would love to travel around the world, baby. But yeah, that is the end of my story, people. This is Texas. Who? I'm sure in Texas now, that's the music that's playing everywhere. That's the one people will use and be doing shakara for all of us. This is Texas. Ooh, there's no going. Ooh. Is it? And then, then. Oh, we're almost there. It'll be so beautiful, okay? What brand of collagen do you use? Uh, I don't have a particular brand that I'm using, like a particular brand. Again, this is still work in progress, but I just go to Ross. Ross is like my best friend when it comes to all of this um, thing. Okay, I go to Ross and I pick out... Uh, I, are you talking about the one I put on my face or the one I'm eating? Because I drink... I have the one I drink every single day. I put it in my coffee. I put it in my... Um, in my... 
I put in my coffee, I put in my yogurt, I put in, in a bunch of stuff. So I have, this one is collagen peptide with probiotics, okay? That's the one that I drink. I buy it from Costco. But the one that I use on my face, I just buy anything from um, um, Ross. Because I've not found a particular brand that will say, oh, this is brand I like. Especially with Ross, you find a brand today, you'll not find it tomorrow. You find this one today, you'll not find it tomorrow. So the thing about Ross is whatever you find that you like, buy it in bulk. But I, I even have, hmm, before I used to use the same soap baiting soap and baiting cream that everybody in this house is in. Now I have my own baiting soap, baiting cream, you know. It kind of feels good. It feels good. Like I said before, I used to think this, all these things is a waste of time, but it has a way of making you feel, what's the word I'll use? Feminine. It makes you feel different. Like, it makes you feel like, mm, that's the mom. Like my children, they say, that's mom's cream, mom's soap, you know, that kind of word. They're sweet. Not all of us, they use the same thing, eh? <laughs> but yeah, I don't have a particular one. You grew up in Lagos. No, I don't grow up in Lagos, so I only went to Lagos three times. First time was in 2000 and... I don't even remember. After my junior work, I went to go stay with my uncle in Lagos. That was the first time I went to Lagos, right? I went to go stay with my uncle. Second time I went to Lagos was when I went to go and see my husband off after we got married. The first time I went to Lagos was when I went for my visa interview to go get um my my intern to get get my visa to America, and then I went back home and carried my bag and hola, I left for the United States. But no, I didn't live in Lagos. Hmm. Although at some point I wanted to, uh, since they keep your head up, I loved Lagos so much because since then. I loved Lagos so much. I wanted to, like... Now I have to start from the beginning. Let me see. I used to feel jealous of the kids in my school that lived in Lagos because in the end they would come back. Lagos felt like Obudo you bought to me then. Ah! A bad gear. Even when I went to Lagos for the first time, my uncle's children used to call me a bad gear. <laughs> a bad gear. But I still love the fact that I grew up in Abba because I feel like as an Abba girl, there's nothing we cannot survive. Lagos kids, kids that are raised in Lagos, their own, how do I put it? I feel like there are some things about kids can survive that Lagos kids cannot survive. You understand? But no, I will not raise my children in Abba, beg. Mm -mm, God forbid. <laughs> but no, I not grew up in Lagos. Try H2. HT2C soap and cream original from Paris, France. It's very good. We do they sell it at Ross? If they don't sell it at Ross, I'm not buying. Okay, <laughs> I'm not buying uh, because number one, Ross is very affordable for all of this. Excuse me, for all of these things. Again, I'm still getting the hang of this, but I don't believe in spending so much money on stuff like that. Let, let me break it up for you, right? The soap and cream that I use, I buy it from Ross, right? And when it finished and I couldn't find it at Ross, I looked it up on Amazon. I buy this at Ross for $6.99. At Amazon, it is an entire brand on its own, a big brand. And they sell it for $18.99. My sister, I refused to buy it at that $18. I waited for Ross to get it. And the day Ross got the soap, I went and I bought eight of it. Eight body washes. I stuck them up in my closet. And it's there. As in this eight of it will last me for an entire world. Six, eight months. If I'm not kidding, right? But look at how much I saved buying that. Now I've been waiting for the cream to come out at Rose. And I've not found the cream yet. Did I find the cream? I will buy ten of it, if no more. That will last me an entire six, eight months too. Because again, I feel like I'm beautiful and I don't need a lot of maintainers, but then I still, you know, need to maintain the beauty because God gave me beauty does not mean you should not maintain it. You just be looking like with a show for, okay, so I still have to maintain it to an extent. But I don't want to waste so much money on it. I don't want to be that kind of like person that is like, maybe I will try it. If, if I see it and it's fine or, uh, and it's affordable, I don't want so much just open ATM on my body. Because of skincare, mm -mm, I don't want that. All I know, 
Number one thing about skincare that I've learned so far is what I eat. Eat good food, take your collagen, peptides. See, my nails are even growing, even though it's kind of dirty right now. It helps to grow your nails, make grow your hair, keep your skin looking beautiful, smooth, you know, all those things. I've spoiled this time. It's okay. You know, take your supplements, take your vitamins, drink enough water, eat good food, work out, exercise, and then every other thing is additional. Does that make sense? But thank you. Thank you, Concept. This is your name, final Concept. <sighs> I'm tired. Since then, your head is giving me a headache. Your head is giving me a headache. Hi, Shelby. It's been a long time. Very long time. There are nothing for you to worry about yourself. You're a beauty queen. Oh, Franklin, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> In your own way, because I really, really love you just for the way you look. <laughs> I'm sure that your husband do love you too, and there are many more who do love you. Oh, you're so sweet, Franklin. Thank you so much. You're so, so sweet. Yeah. Thank you. This is this, 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 okay? I'm almost done, I promise. This is going to go on. I grew up in a battle, but in the U.S. now. Really? Which side of U.S. are you in? See? That's the other thing with our bad girl. All of us, and the that bad, eh? All of us. I, I feel like a lot more people who are outside grew up in a battle. And if they need to come back and carry us and carry us and carry us. Or, or the people are more like, you know, the Malaysia and all those Shia Shia. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. But you get the point. Over your people. And all those other people. But about people. All of us, they US. All of us. You make a lot of sense. Thanks for the wonderful tips. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Since then, I promise I'm almost done, mommy, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. She doesn't have any hair over here. You're in Columbia, Ohio. That is awesome. Wow. Congratulations, Annie. That's incredible. When they know it's their mom doing their hair. Oh, I, I didn't get that part. When they know it's their mom doing their hair. You mean how they don't stay one place? Yeah. the front. I want it to be really good. This is Cynthia's hair. I don't, I'm not planning on it to last, but I just want it to look presentable. I'm not sure Cindy I want to take down this hair when it's time to take it down because she loves it. Hi, Queen! How are you doing? Good evening. Thank you so much for coming. I'm making Zendaya's hair, you guys. Thank you for joining. God, what a good job, but Lindy, where you there? Where you there? Hi, Abby. Abby, go swear for me. <laughs> Abby, you say Abby, call you, not be picky. Abby, let me tell you the truth. I told myself, it was just yesterday I was thinking about it. I was like, hey, Abby would think, Abby, Abby would think, say, I had a vex or say, what's your apple? I never pick your calls. It's how many months that I never call you back. I never respond to your thing. Nothing happened. Long story. I promise. I told myself that I was going to call you tomorrow. I swear. I'm not lying. Okay. So I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. I owe you an explanation. I promise. No vex for me. I beg. But hi. How are you doing? Mommy, stay now. How are you doing, Abby? Thank you for coming. She said she caught me right handed today.
This was how I was struggling yesterday with my daughter. Um, Udo, how many daughters do you have? How many of them do you have? This is my own struggle times four. I don't even know. I've never even... Like, the yours own, if I start it, I don't know how... Oh, Jesus. That's why I keep using other people to learn this thing so that when it gets to her own, I would have known how to do it very, very well. Because I would love to do this kind of hair for all of them. Because like I said, it just... It's, it looks more beautiful. But this is... This is messed up. It's because I'm still learning. The next hairstyle I want to make for my kids, hmm, I want to fix with one and Emma. And I'm not doing it because I want her to look like an adult. No, I'm doing it because I I want to learn how to make hair for real. Because let me tell you something. I know how to make hair. And I'm reaching out to people to make my hair. And they're telling me $150, $300, $400. I said, don't fire you. Go punish you, idiot. I'm, I'm a negative way. So if I give you $400 now, you take waka. Eh? So I want to learn how to make it. I want to learn how to fix with one. I want to learn how to do all those things. So that, again, not because I don't, I have money to make hell. Okay, look, I have money to make hell. But I don't want to give somebody that money to make my hair. I want to do three by butter, period. You do my hair, I'm owing you to do your own hair. Does that make sense? This country is too hard, I beg. Uh -uh. Something I will use and give somebody in Nigeria, they will tell me thank you. That's what I'll come and take and give somebody. I went to one girl to braid my hair all back. She's Af African American. The girl braided my hair. What 14? 14 braids. This girl charged me $40. This was the time that Naira was $1,700. $40. Do you know how much that was in Naira? That I spent to make on nine braids. The hair got old. I rebraided it myself. Now it's old. I'll continue to rebraid it. I wash it. I use toothbrush and I scrub, 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 scrub it. And then I wash it with medicated soap and then I rebraid it one after the other until I'm done rebraiding. Maybe I will make a video this time around that I'm rebraiding it. No, I'm free. I'll make a video. I'll make a video to see, show you guys how I'm washing it and how I'm rebraiding it. And honestly, I don't care if it is clean or not. Or as long as I have my wig on, I don't care. You will not see me come on social media with my with my braids like that. But I'm not going to give her forty dollars a game to make my hair. In as much as if they sweet me to see that, let somebody else make my hair, okay? But now that I'm trying to, I'm looking for content to create. I'm at so just ah uh, uh, come and quite get inside my mouth. I might as well just do it myself and create content out of it. I did put that call to as a father yesterday. Really? That is awesome. Congratulations. Before you know it, that you'll be done. And before you know it, you will jab back. Trust me. You will jab back. Go and write it down somewhere. I'm giving you maximum, maximum two years. Maximum. Lindy, go and write it somewhere. Maximum two years, you will jab back. I don't know where it will be. Where it will be at your heart desire. I promise you that. Don't just settle for nonsense. Don't settle for anything less. If that's your dream, you know, go and write it somewhere and follow it though. And in case, Lindy, in case you do not know, you don't know my story. In case you don't know my story, let me tell you a little bit, please. Yes. In case you don't know, my, don't know my story, let me tell you a little bit. I was 14 when a lot of people started coming to ask for my hand in marriage. At that 14 years old, I told myself, if you're a businessman, and then number one, you're not educated, and then number two, you live in Nigeria, is a no-no for me. These were like the three biggest things in my dictionary. Now, a lot of people came to me, oh, my brother live in Malaysia, my brother live in Austria. But in every way you're saying, if it is not Obudoibo, I don't know. And at this point, I didn't even know where Obudoibo was. I know it's Obudoibo. But like all these places they are calling, did not sound like Obudoibo to me. So my own was, it is Obudoibo I want. If it's not Obudoibo, I'm not going. The only mistake I wish I did was, you know, you know, a lot of people wake up and get themselves ready and prepare themselves to travel over by going to nursing schools in Nigeria and all that stuff, right? But on my own, I did not know what I did not know how I was gonna to go to Bodoibo, but I know I wanted to go to Bodoibo. And because of that, I did not settle for less. I told myself I'm going to wait until the right person comes and then I'll marry that person. Even okay, let me not get into that. That's TMI, okay. I know you want to know, you want to know, but let's not get into that. <laughs> I'm doing great, Queen. Thank you so much for watching. I'm doing great. Let me not get into that. But 
I legit, oh, my, my son, why shut up? This is why I don't like doing live video. I feel like I talk a lot, okay? <laughs> Especially the one they did not ask me. But what am I trying to say? Don't settle for any rubbish. Don't settle for nonsense. Gifts, what are you, what are you doing here? Why are you laughing? What are you doing here, Gift? <laughs> don't settle for anything, any nonsense, Lindy. Say it. I saw Bodo in back with the same manifest it. Say it, write it down and pursue it. You see somebody, one one man can feel it for you, come and tell you, I promise I will take it to Bodo. Oh, God, show me your green card. Show me. Show me. I know the green for my Call me a gold digger. So bad, do not come down, fire you. Don't settle for anything. Because even when I came and said, Hey, baby, get don't worry. Don't worry. I have a company in on the Japan market. I will take you, gig girl, but don't you boo. You go there, go the bomb picking. I said, don't affect your grandmother. Go there, the bomb picking. I'm a naked chick. I will leave my... Go there, the bomb picking. My mates, I live there. I know you, man, please. Okay, if you don't live there, I'm not about to settle with your open chop. Not open chop. Anyways, update. <laughs> Just passing by also. You guys, I showed you guys a... I made a video one time telling you guys that um, Zendaya had issues with her hair. And that her hair got damaged right here in the middle. She had a big wound on her hair. Hi, Millicent. How, how are you doing? That's my namesake. That's my that's my namesake. Uh, see, see, another Millicent is here. You people, all the Millicents are coming one after the other. Well, it's just one that I've come. Hi, Millicent. How are you? <laughs> but yeah, I showed you people. Your stress is in there. My sister, no vex. I showed you people Zendaya's hair that was ruined. I did my own aloe vera oil because I wanted to go and buy this thing. There's one YouTuber on YouTube. She makes aloe vera oil. What's that her name again? No, somebody, somebody. No, it's Mercy. Mercy, go no. Yeah, she makes aloe vera oil. I'm like, I first of all, I went to go and check out its stuff and it was quite expensive for me my sister i used that money and i went and i bought my own materials and i made it from scratch and i got more than eight bottles of this and every day i apply it to my children's hair see the hair growth see the hair growth this thing healed her head healed her hair and is regrowing her hair i added some rice milk some rice like some rice fermented rice in it i added some fenugreek seed and then the aloe vera the oil like i made it it was magical anyways what i'm trying to say is at some point i will start selling it because i'm here to house i know come all the way from nigeria to america to come and be staring at the wall okay you're taking too long in her head because i'm tired i'm tired and i'm making a video that's why and because she's a kid so it's gonna take a while but don't worry <laughs> It's fine. It's been a while. I know. It's been so long. I'm making a video. That's why it's taking so long. I'm going to respond to my audience. Except you want me to be doing live video without talking to you people. I'll be doing it though. I'll just shut up and be watching Netflix while the live video is here. But my audience, they love me when I respond to them. So if I'm going to make a live video. I'm going to be willing to respond to them. I'm telling you, Evelyn, I did not know you had to come and carry last. So I wish I can do your hair online. You don't have to pay me. Really, Lindy? Oh, that's so sweet. But I don't mind paying you as long as you give me what I want. Because what I actually want, you know, all this cray cray um, um, braids, all these small, small, tiny, tiny, like all back. That's what I want. So I can use them to wear my wig. But this girl just, uh, she just mangled my hair. She mangled the thing. And before you know it, the thing got old but i still carried it for a whole month though just that i wear wig from morning till night and then i take it off put on my wig stand and then go to bed and then i wake up the very next morning <laughs> i put on the wig again from morning to night yeah and honestly i feel like a lot of people appreciate that now because before i go to my children's school looking like a homeless person anyways Your skin is glowing, especially your face. Oh, thank you, Lebu. That's what we've been talking about all this while. We've been drinking water, minding our business. So the skin is skinning, okay? It's skinning. Thank you so much for noticing. But yeah, I've been taking care of my skin. Uh, 
that's what I've been doing offline all this while. One day I'm going to make a skincare routine video for you guys to show you guys everything I've been using, you know. Yeah, this hair is taking way too long. I'm tired already, but I'm almost done. And plus, I'm getting hungry. I've not eaten food. I drank muscle milk, that's protein shake, today. And I ate some yogurt. All I eat now is yogurt and salad. Yogurt, salad, and protein shake. Yogurt, salad, and protein shake. Just so I can lose weight. So that people stop making fun of my stomach. And then somebody will now come and say, Ah, Millie say, fat has finally cut up with you. When you were losing weight, you were making us feel stupid. My God, that was so funny. My hair is not growing. Really? Honestly, I will start selling this thing. If you buy it, your hair will grow. I promise you. Your hair will grow. I made eight bottles. I bought these bottles from Amazon. All I have to do is just put label on it and open website and put it on website and start selling it. Yeah. Honestly, anything now. Hmm. Let me just get sit down and get situated first. I'm going to start making even carrot oil. I make my own carrot oil that I use on my skin. See, can't you people see that my skin, my neck is no longer too dark? Before, my neck used to be so very darker than my face, and my face was like all shouty, and then my neck was, but now everything is getting even down. This is my own carotid that I make from my from scratch by my bare hand. I need to start selling it, so honestly speaking, I should make it in badge and sell. Just post it on my website. But like people will have to buy at least two weeks ahead of time, because I wouldn't want to make it and keep it. I wouldn't want it to spoil. I don't know how to preserve it yet, but I know I use my own. Like I have some that I've not even used, and it's it has no spot. It's 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 there in my bathroom. But for selling to people, I don't know. Let me know if people will be interested in buying this thing. If people will be interested, even if it's just twenty people that want to buy, I will sell it to you guys. I will make it and sell it, and the carrot oil too. Cause this twenty twenty four, I know green. I'm not shame. I'm, what's the word? I'm shameless about making money. <laughs> I'm shameless about making money this 2024. I'm no greedy this year. Hmm. Our school reunion will soon be coming up. Ah, my battery don't they die. Hi, Lois. How you doing? Lois, how you doing? Oh, happy belated 2024. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen you and your girls. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my battery is almost dead over here. Well, yeah, our school reunion is coming up, okay? Coming up next year. So, anything I can do to, you know? Cynthia, what is your problem? Anything at all. So, let me know if you guys want to buy this or buy some carrot oil. I'll start making it in bulk and be selling I have natural hair. Really, if you apply my hair stuff, my hair growth stuff, it will grow. Your hair will grow. Let me stand and start advertising my product because I have proof, okay? I have proof. It healed my baby's hair and it's growing her hair too. So, this one is not, it's not just, I'm not just saying it to, for saying sake. It has been tested. I can partner with you. Mm, I don't want partner. Mm -mm, I don't want partner. I want to make all the money by myself. Ah, I beg go. <laughs> I don't want partner or Biko. See, uh, the only partner, the only business partner I would like to have is for social media. Okay? Like, I'm literally walking around begging people to come and partner with me on social media. I'm talking social media in the sense that we create content together. Like, who, who, was, who was I just talking with right now? She said she lives in San Diego. I wish she lives close to me. Mm -hmm. We'll be making video every day. All the friends I have in real life, they are not into social media. They don't want to make videos. They are busy, okay? <laughs> I'm looking for somebody I can make podcasts with. Somebody I can have a, a show with on YouTube, you know? We talk about things that are happening in the world. We, we just sit down and gossip. But then we're gossiping on video. You get what I'm saying? We sit down, we talk about things. That's the kind of partnership I want. I don't want to have 
partner in business because I know the kind of person I am. Number one, I'm an Igbo woman. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Number one, I'm Igbo. Number two, I feel like um, whenever I'm anything I put my mind to, I take it very seriously, and I don't like mediocre of anything. Like I, I don't want to be giving hundred percent and you're giving me ten percent. I will disown you there and there. Do you get what I'm saying? I want to buy some. Really? Do it, we will buy. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it tomorrow so that it will start working. It will, it will start getting ready because it takes me two weeks. The aloe vera one, I can do it tomorrow and to get ready by Tuesday, but then I don't have the product. I still have to go and buy the ingredients tomorrow. But yeah, I can make, I can just make like 10 of this one, 10 of this one. If I sell it off, then I'll start, I'll make some more. Yeah, I'll give it a try. And if it works out, I can I can market it on Facebook here. And if it works out, I can create a this thing, a website for it. I wouldn't want to create a website right now when I I'm not sure yet. I can just be selling it right now through Facebook. Yeah, I'll I'll do it this week. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Caroline. And thank you, Udo. Thank you so much. What was I saying? I was talking about um partnership. Yeah, I feel like I'm this kind of person. When it comes to business, I want to do it by myself. But I keep looking for anybody. I'm talking anybody. I don't care. Be you Nigerian, or be you African American, or be you white, or be you black, or be you Mexican. Or. I'm looking for people that I can just, you know, sit down and create content with. I feel like um, I have a lot of the ideas, content ideas I have is more like team related does that make sense it's more team related the truth is i love making mommy um motherhood and lifestyle content but the truth is that these children are gonna grow up except i want to see them be having a baby every year these children are going to grow up and at some point they won't be cute anymore okay uh you people will not be what like it's not like how do i put it i don't at some point i don't want to be making content that they have to be at this point i tell them you don't have to be in the video they're the ones that literally beg me right now mommy make a video mommy video this video this mommy can you are you gonna put this on facebook mommy what do people say stuff like that it's kind of cute i don't force them to make content but at some point i want to be able to just tell them no you don't have to and just create the content by myself and if they really want to they will open their own page which i've which already opened for them and then they can be posting what they make i don't know if that makes any sense i want to do a podcast me too oh yeah move 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 towards me abby abby move towards me <laughs> because i'm not moving to texas with to you okay abby see the time we were living together over there we wasted our our what livelihood eh in texas we would have done stuff then oh god i was living close to abby i was losing believe it like be, me abby and this would make an incredible beautiful podcast man but we just wasted our time going to what <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> anyways yeah i would love to make a podcast like i already opened a page on my youtube for making podcasts i already have a name for it everything i just i just if if i find somebody na 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 i will set up camera immediately i will buy podcast microphone go go to go today and tomorrow but i've told myself though if i'm giving myself a certain period of time if i don't find anybody to make it with i'm going to make it by myself because i know i can still uh, i'm still creative regardless i just feel like i want to have an actual person that when I'll be saying something funny, that person will be laughing. Person can stay there the whole time without talking. You know, maybe I can get a mannequin. <laughs> I can get a mannequin and put a face on the on the mannequin. Just sit down there, let you feel like I'm talking to somebody. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Evelyn, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I'm sorry. But yeah, if you're living close to me, we can do other business together, but not, not this kind of business. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I'm almost done. Two more to go. Although I still have to finish rebreeding this ones. I'm tired. Like I, I'm, I'm burning up. I went from feeling cold to burning up. 
I can see the baby is so big now. Last time I saw her, she was still in diaper. I know. She's a big baby now. She's starting school very soon. So they say hi. hi. But she's still sucking her mouth, right, Zen Zen? Stop sucking your mouth. Stop sucking your mouth. <laughs> I will be late. Hi, Yolanda. How are you doing? Long time. Long time. It's been a long time. Nice to have you here. Oh, thank you so much for coming. There's a no push down my camera, okay? Thank you so much for coming. You guys, it's 6.48. Wow. I've been making this video for more than eight minutes. And I'm almost done. So more in a minute. Oh, thank you so much, Caroline. Sister, don't push down the camera. Turn this way. We're almost done, okay? Do it harder. I should do it harder. I should not do it harder. Okay, I promise I won't do it harder, okay? I'll soon be done and then you go eat, okay? Okay, mommy? Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You guys, when my mom came, I had so many video ideas I wanted to film with her. Ah, first of all, I was saying anytime my mother will come here, ah, we're going to make a lot of videos. I'm going to film. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to do this. My mom came and left. Nothing. No video. Not even a video. Not even a vlog. No talk of sit-down video. And now that she's, she has gone back, uh, I'm free and I have a lot of video ideas I want to make with her and she's not here anymore. But God willing, whenever she comes, I have a lot of videos I want to make. I'm well, oh, you were talking to me the other day when you were doing your exercise. I said that I kept giving stars. I was under, I was under empty lag, Joe Queen's like, oh, really? Wait, I just saw that person right now. Oh, it was you? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Yolanda. I didn't know it was you. And thank God you came with your real account. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're so thoughtful and so sweet always. Thank you. I'm telling you, Lois, it's the busy life of being a mom. But my wasn't really about being a mom, honestly. And like I told you guys, I wish I could talk about it. But unfortunately, I care. But like... It was crazy. It was crazy, man. It was so crazy. You don't know type of this story, eh? So God, God will take all the glory. But for now, let's just leave it where it belongs. In the trash. In the clash, okay? But yeah, I couldn't make any video with her. It was a few days before she left. I took her off to the um, Sierra de Nava. I've been at nevada mountain you know i just made a few clips here and there so that she can remember her coming to america because when she came here in 2018 i wasn't a content creator but i still kind of like made a few clips of her here and there especially when we went when i took her to the gym <laughs> And so when I took her to the gym, I made videos of her here and there. And uh, like, it was so funny to watch back later. But before she left, I created a lot of like content, uh, social media pages for her. Because this time around, if she comes, she'll be staying, I don't even know for how long. But my goal is for her to kind of like start creating content. Because my mom is still very young. If not, that she has gray up and down. <laughs> my mom is still very young. Can anybody here guess how old my mom is? So here's the thing. I'm the last one. Well, I'm not the last one. Jesus, my younger sister will slap me. <laughs> I'm the second to the last one, right? And there are eight of us. And I'm 30 years old. How old do you think my mom is? How old do you think my mom Hi, Bestie. It's 8.50 p.m. here. Let me catch some sleep. Spring break is over. Really? Our own is starting tomorrow. Oh, you're going to be so jealous of me. <laughs> Your spring break. 
break is over. Oh, I feel so bad for you. No, I don't. Dog. <laughs> oh, go sleep, okay? Chai. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Back to square one. I hate, is, it, is it just me that hates children going to school? Left to me, my children will stay at home and be late. You know, you know that period and the, um, what's it called? The current, um, COVID period when the kids were studying at home. I liked it because I don't know if it was just my kid, but Emma would set herself up. She does all her stuff by herself on the school thingy, right? I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to have anybody emailing me for anything. But this one, pick up, drop off every day. And then you still have to attend a lot of meetings. You have to read a lot of emails. They're having this party. They're having that. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's exhausting. I beg. I don't tire. I don't tire. No, everything is like times three of them. And Zendaya will be starting in, in, in September. That will be times four. School is exhausting. I was running away from going to school in primary school. Now I'm starting it all over again. It is exhausting. You can still do the podcast on by video like you did before. Uh, like the live video and then somebody joining me. I tried to, but honestly, I didn't like that then. It, I didn't like it. People kind of showed up. It was fun. But it was not... Let me not sound self-centered, but it was not lucrative financially because it was a live video. Live videos don't really give you money, okay? If you guys notice, um, I stopped creating live videos at some point. I started creating, um, what was it called? Um, edited videos. Edited videos gives you more money than live videos because Facebook gets to promote it more. That's why you see all these edited videos getting like millions of views, right? But you see live videos, anyone you see that is getting millions of views is because the person already has millions of followers. And those millions of followers are interested in watching her, his or her video. But for somebody like me, my live videos, once you finish watching it here and now, any other person that watch it, I don't get paid from it. That's what I think. Because I don't get paid from live videos as I get from edited videos, if that makes any sense. That's why the people who are here watching it, I appreciate you guys more because this is where I'm making the money from. But the question is, who has three, four hours to sit down and be making a video? And who has three, four hours to sit down and be watching a video? And after you're done making the video, when people come back to watch it and see how many hours the video took, they don't want to sit down and watch that long. So I want something that I can actually create and post like a podcast that can create and post and people can watch it at any time and i can edit it that way it's easier for people to just watch it even if it means editing it i'm cutting it into like 10, 10 minutes right and people can watch they watch their third they'll come back they'll watch the next episode and stuff like that yeah since it's done done i'm almost done i promise okay so um, i'm really looking for someone like I have a lot of friends now that I'm trying to convince, like, baby girl, leave your full-time job, come and join me. <laughs> and if I was making money right now, because I just came back, so I'm not necessarily making money so far, but if I was making money right now, I don't mind paying somebody to come and do podcasts with me, like, I'll be paying the person, even though the person is my friend. I don't mind paying the person. But if the person wants to join me as a business partner where we use one of my pages and we make the money and we share it equally, I don't mind either. I just want somebody, you know, somebody I can do TikTok dances with. Because I try to do it with my children. They cannot dance. Yes, you cannot dance. Shake your dance. Let me see. She's doing like this. <laughs> Shake your dance. Let me see. <laughs> you can't dance. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I gave birth to you. I, I can dance. It's in my blood. Do you know that my mother was the leader of the cultural dance in her group? Because you dance like a white person. <laughs> you dance like your father is white. Eh? Are you sure that is your father in there? Shake it, shake it, let me see. Tag, get that way. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh I think. my god. Your girl is also still now to really awesome. You can send me. To see. Yeah, I'm almost done. Mommy, no. what? 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 Why? You just interrupted me. I was saying something. Why don't you come from my dad dancing? Is my great thing. I can see like a person who's like, he's like three times older than you. Something. Oh, same. Let me see. Okay, I'll sing um a part of the Okay. Let it go. Let it go. Pause. 
pause. Even a two year old can sing. Let it go, let it go. No, sing I Celine do. Dion, let me hear. Sing Celine Dion, let me hear. Um, the one from Titanic. Give me the one that I hear that I know. Okay. Oh, so Eva. Wait, 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 let me see. If I, I could I always love you, I will always love you. Okay, I want to say something. I want to confess to something, right? Nobody in my life has ever told me I have a great voice. <laughs> Nobody. And I don't know so much about singing as much as I know about creating content. But well, mommy, your voice is not gonna win uh, American Idol, so try again. <laughs> Wait, give me the. I'm gonna see. Okay, the, okay, okay. The, the one about I'm invincible. Okay, yes, yes. Sing, Wait, see. Ya. This is a video, right? It's okay. You can sing it. Uh, I'll, I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. I'm a Porsche. With, uh, okay, I forgot to sing. Sorry. Okay, okay. Let me sing it for you. Then you sing after me. I'm unstoppable. I'm a Porsche with no brakes. I'm invincible. I win I every single notes. game. I'm so powerful. I, oh, I don't need batteries to play. I'm so confident. I'm unstoppable today. I'm unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. I'm unstoppable today. I'm unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. I'm unstoppable today. Wake up. Every time you are on the bed, why should you sleep in by this time? Don't you need <laughs> the time? Oh, come on! Why are you why why are why are you always calling me out? Can't you see that I'm so tired and I'm so hungry? Is that even kind of song? Oh yeah! I took my hammer to show you how strong I am. I put my armor on and show you that I yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm unstoppable. I, I'm a Porsche with no brakes. I'm invincible. Mm -hmm. And I win every single game. I'm so powerful. I don't need batteries to play. I'm so confident. That I'm unstoppable today. I'm unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. I'm unstoppable today. Hi, German How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. You have long time. Welcome back, Melissa. Please don't disappear like that, though. I promise I'm not going anywhere this time around. I am back full time, okay? I'm going to be doing a lot of live videos on YouTube. People should come and be supporting you again. A lot of live videos because honestly, it's hard to edit and film and edit. So I'm working on it, but you will see me live as often as possible because I have two phones and I have two tripods. So why not? Okay? Let's push this forward a little bit so they don't see our big forehead. But like, if I can create live video on Facebook, I'll be live on YouTube as well. Thank you so much. Lois said, I admire your strength and your dedication of values. Your she got poor. You could have pushed down the hair. And the dedication of values teacher. Girls, you're a strong African American woman, my sister. Oh, thank you so much, Lois. I really appreciate that. I see she can't be African American. You're African. I am African American. Hey, you, you are you're I am African American. Well, I'm Nigerian American. Mm -hmm. you, you're Af you're Nigerian American too. No, you're, you're Nigerian because Emma, you're, you're Nigerian. Nigerian because your father, your mother is Nigerian. Yes, and I'm and, and I'm Nigerian American because I was born here. I am Nigerian American. I have a citizenship. I can run for governorship. In fact, this is me announcing to you. I'm running for governorship of California next month. Yes. 
you are. You wish. But would you like me to run for governorship? Do you know I'm capable of running for governorship? What does that mean? Like become the governor of California. Wait, you know, rule, make the laws in California? So you don't think I can make the laws of California? Wait, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm saying, what, the, what hey. do they have? I'm not saying you can. I'm saying what do they do? Yes, they rule California, make decisions. Oh, I am definitely letting you go for there. If you go for there, me, I can't ever through. No, don't respect it. I'm a boy. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> And, yes, they are on spring break this weekend. This week, the whole of this week. That's why I'm trying to get your head done so we can make a lot of videos for you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lois. You can still do the podcasting by video like you did before. Okay, I've read that one. Are the kids on spring break? Yes. I'm fine. Good to see you and your children. Oh, thank you so much. I miss my vibe too. Thank you. Okay, can I Hold on, hold on. When you will tell me, do I have a good singing voice? I'm just deceiving myself. And rate my and rate my singing on from one to ten. Other now. Udo, congratulations. Please send me details on Instagram. Let me hear. Let me hear the gist I've been missing. What is that? My battery is dead. Yeah. Thank God I'm already done. Yes, I'm already done. Wait, okay. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Udo, congratulations, my sister. Send me details. Just me all about it on Instagram, okay? And good night. Go sleep. How is my daughter in law? This is a hi, IJ. Daughter in law? Yes. Zendia is going to marry her son. <laughs> you need to see Emma's face. <laughs> I this is I'm literally doing my in the I don't believe it face. I don't believe it at all. And I not mean oh my gosh I do believe it. I, I'm like I don't believe it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what Marie said there. <laughs> oh. At that age. No, no, when they grow up. Are you going to come back the coins? You mean this one? I combed it out and it went back like this. Are you talking about this one or this one? I come down this one, it went back like this. Trust me, like the hair is the bum. Okay. Oh, hi, Lindy. Okay, Dio, I'm Lindy saying hi to you. Say hi, Miss Lindy. Hi, Miss Lindy. Say, how are you? Hi, Miss Lindy. How long does it take you to do your daughter's hair? So, Emma's on took me Thank actually you. two days. Thank you. D look at this hair. Mm -hmm. My friend, go and sit down. <laughs> Emma, you turn off my camera. They said. Hold on, hold on, Emma. So, Emma's hair took me two days, but not like two days. Yeah, so I did the first half, and then she took the other half to school like that. Then I finished the other half the next day, and then. I did finish the front. I finished the front on the third day. Because when I'm making their hair, I have other things I'm doing and they don't stay in one place. And plus, this particular hairstyle is my first time making it on her. So, like I said, it took me four hours to actually... Well, I don't know if I exaggerate, but it took me a long time to actually get one hair done. Because I was practicing, trying to get it right. And also, the back of her hair, I made it big, big. But um, the front outside, I made it like really small but it still took me a lot of time but it's what if it was like braids like all by cornrows i've made four of their hair in one day with cornrows like different styles the same day i finished it the same day i started four of them the same day i was so dedicated i finished the last person's own by 1 a.m that day that was zuri yeah if it is cornrows i can make different style but attachment by the time you sort the attachment out and then start braiding the hair ah, and when they are sleeping and if it is for Dior, Dior's own hair, I always carry scissors. I'm like, if you cry, I'll cut your hair. If you cry, I'll cut your hair. He cries as if someone's going to kill her. Yeah. yeah. What? Like, um, like if he just... Like, she has not finished taking down her hair because she's crying. But also, so Lindy said, you have a great voice. Who has a great voice? Me or Emma? She said, I love Emma's voice. Thank oh, you. I miss you and everyone. We miss you too, IJ. Thank you so much. So my daughter Ella is not right for my... No, she's not right. Don't say that <laughs> one. I will see you. <laughs> okay, well, geez. Oh, thank you so much. Emma, Mommy, Bonuso. someone said you are good in creating content than, than in singing. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, I don't die. It's not fair. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, need to say, I need to say something. I need to say Shut, something. Shut up. Don't Mommy, say it down before. Mommy, I need to say something. Dio, stop doing that now. Oh, oh, nice. Here in Canada, the children had their spring break two weeks ago. Wow. So they're going to be in school in the week of Easter. Really? Oh, that's not fair. I look forward to seeing no, what fun activities you plan to share with our YouTube family. Oh, don't worry, I have a lot of things planned now. Mm -hmm. I'll fix it later. 
I have a lot of things planned out. Thank you so much. Do you remember when we used to go live and you would come up with a topic? I would get on live and discuss the topic. I'm using that. I know. I know, Yolanda. I love that. Okay. But like, oh, that was very fun. Okay. I'm not going to lie. That was really fun. That was so much fun because like we would spend two hours talking about it. And the fact that a lot of people were willing and able to, you know, come on and say their opinion, their their opinion on different topics. It was really interesting. But the truth is that it was not giving me money, right? So at the end of the day, I felt like somebody who was showing up for work but was not getting paid for the work. So if I was getting stars, right, that would have been different, which I was getting stars, but I would get like a few stars. And each star is money. But it was not enough for the time I was putting into it. I don't want to sound self-centered, but I'm trying trying to be honest with you. You get what I'm saying? It was so much fun. But it's not, it's not lucrative. <laughs> and it's not like a long time. Emma, remove your hair from there. I'm trying to point to the, without, eh? I'm to point to the, to the comments without, without no, it. No, don't anyone. touch it. It was not, like, it's not, it's not a good, it's not, it's not long time. How do I put it? Emma, you made me forget what I wanted to say. Emma, I'm going to need you to go away from here right now. Shh. It was no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I will knock you. I'm not joking. Emma, you interrupt me. I'm trying to remember what I want to say. It was not kind of like a long-term investment that's what i'm looking for it was not a long-term investment it was just like good while it lasted but i loved it it was it's something that let's say i don't have anything doing i can come up and we can talk about it right but for something to do every day that time i will use it and create content and edit content and post content does that make sense yeah welcome back hi madupe looking forward to you back on youtube i remember i joined that time you were doing online workout missy oh thank you so much i'm doing online workout on facebook right now but i'm not like trying to be a motivational coach or anything or be a motivational um a fitness coach i'm just documenting my weight loss on facebook on millicent zandax too but yeah, I'm posting, I'm trying to like hold myself accountable to do 2,000 jump ropes every single day on Facebook. That is in addition to my other workouts that I do. So I do running, I do, there's a shift, there's a stand up, stand up on me. I do a lot of workouts and then I come on Facebook and then I do like 2,000 jump ropes just to hold myself accountable. Oh, thank you, Yolanda, thank you. You understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, thank you. There's a shift. Concentrate on dancing, lip singing for Celine Dion. No, lip singing for me. Lip she said lip singing for Celine. Are you Celine Dion? Ta, get away. I am. I'm. I, I am like one of the greatest singers in this family. I could sing. Like, be a professional singer. I don't say you cannot do anything. If you can believe it, you can do it. I mean, like. I I mean, like, I mean, like, I Zen, mean, Zen. aren't I going to sing it if I sing? I'm Emma, like, wait. Yeah. I'm not saying you're not good at singing. Don't get me wrong. I said you're good at singing. But you need to train your voice. So here's the thing, right? How do I put this nice? When I sing, I, I sound like a grown-up singing, like, in the most beautiful voice. So I believe that singers are born with the talent. But then, they, with professional training, they get it right. I know. Just like it's actors cute. are born with the talent, with professional training, they get it right. Now, I feel like me as your mother, I don't have the talent of singing. So I definitely don't pass that down but to you. Have the, but you have the talent of dancing, mommy. You can dance. Yeah, I have the talent of dancing. Yeah. Like, you could be... I, I don't want to be rude. I'm saying this honestly. This you could be one of my... You could be my backup dancers. Go on the like, backup dancer. Like, you know, <laughs> dancer. Can't do that. No, like, Stand we, up. we're good at dancing. You could be like on the stage with me. Yes. And be your backup dancer. Well, because you saw Beyonce's mother on stage with her dancing as a backup dancer. I, she may be like. <laughs> I, I did not know that. I said she does not do that. She is the mother of the Queen Bee. So, no, I'm not going to be your backup dancer. Okay, I'm going to sing. Um, like, like, listen to this. Listen to this. Mom. Okay. <clears throat> okay. For some reason, I don't like. Sing. Just sing. Okay. Since I stand up now, let me. I'm gonna sing the Friday night when I really like that one. Okay, so the uh, sorry to cut you off, but the key to singing is knowing the lyrics. So sing a song that you know that you know the lyrics, so that way you can focus on 
getting the right excuse me getting the right tone instead of trying to uh remember the lyrics or something like that i went on tiktok and bought the ministers you were walking out like, really oh yeah they have it on tiktok right now Yes. They, hold on, hold on, I'm coming. They have it on TikTok. People they are selling it on TikTok for fifty-five dollars. I bought my own for sixty-nine dollars. Yeah, people are selling it on TikTok. That thing is really good. That was what I used this morning to exercise. I did two thousand this morning and then I did two thousand jump rope. Um the very first that I used I did three thousand and the thing will make you sweat. It is I push this thing too forward. It is really, really good. It's really, really good. Okay, one second. No be a lay back of this. What do you mean by that? I don't know what she means by that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I don't know. By what? By what is it not be only lack of this? What do, what does she mean by that? Is that we say somebody is not serious? There's a mature no. But say what you want to say. Say what you want to say. Yeah, what you now. Come on, come on. Shh. Come on, come on, to the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't get up and I do my hair with my hair cup on. It's Friday night and I won't get up. Come on, put the thumbs on, put the thumbs on. I got all I need. And I ring gun tan, I ring gun tan. I love you, baby. Baby, I don't need nobody else and I come tonight. Baby, I don't need Nobody I don't need nobody. See, let me tell you something. If you grew up in Nigeria and sing Nigerian song, that's how you know if your voice is good or not. Let me sing you a song. Listen to it. I know the lyrics from beginning to end. <clears throat> let me clear my voice. I'm trying to sense that, but it's not going. How do I sense that? Um. I don't know why. It's right here. It says, comment mm -hmm. sent with 200 stars or more will yes. appear here. Oh, Chimo. Yeah, I don't know why it's not. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know, but thank you so much for the thoughts. I really appreciate it. I think there's a star button yeah, at the bottom of your button. screen, and you should press the, like, a big star. There's, like, a... a they will start, there's one, they say enable AR gifting. Oh. Allow star senders to turn on filter. Enable stars for this live video. It's already enabled. Yeah, I don't know how else to do it though. But thank no, you no, so much. When you say enable, you have to turn it I've on. I've already enabled all of it is enabled. What does that mean? It's enabled? So cute, you guys seem to have so much fun together. All the little ones I used to look how that all grown now. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so they are growing. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me sing this song. <clears throat> Dan, let me teach you. My nose is blood. I'm going, I'm going to sing the songs that make us know whether we have good voice or not. Nigerian songs. The Nigerian songs is so good if you don't know it, it's like... <clears throat> So, <coughs> I think the lyrics to Nigerian song, I think I would like have the rest of it. Yes, okay, so let me start. Hey, 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 Mama me, eh, hey, hey. eh, Nemo, what a beautiful morning, eh, 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 yeah. Nemo, be more, oh, be more. 
I was feeling so sad. Daddy's calling you. I was feeling so sad because I was all alone. She has made me miss my beat now. I'm so glad, so glad. And there she goes, there she goes. She touched my heart and said, A basin and oh, oh, so sad. The way she keeps me smiling, it gives me joy. She called this love is real. Uh -huh. Within my heart, there's nobody else. Baby, give me your heart. Let me take you away. Mommy, may. Hey, hey. Name, hey, hey. See the girl I won't marry. No time, no delay. Hey, hey. After all the things I've been through, I present my love to you. <laughs> I missed it. I present my love to you, the girl I won't marry. Hey, the girl I won't marry. Hey, see the girl I won't marry. Hey, now the girl I won't carry. Oh, Rolando, no, Mume. Oh, Mume. Oh, Malaysian one. She's my beautiful, no, Nye. Hey, hey. Nimya Makagi. So you and I can fly away. Hey, hey. Straight to the sky. Just you and I. I. Get a no go la ha ha. Can't you see? You were sent from above, and you know you're my heart and my sweetness. Is this love? Is this love? I don't know, but I know what I'm feeling. Only God be my witness. You're my princess. Hey, on you, yeah, 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 on you, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 you guys, let me know how I did on a scale of 1 to 10, okay? I don't need I'm a good singer. I'm just letting. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lois. Thank you. My battery is almost dead. This one is remaining 5%. Yes, I'm done. Can you do mine, please? I'll do it tomorrow. Actually, I need to do yours on first. Why am I rustling? Because your birthday, I want your hair to still be clean enough for your birthday. Ew. Yeah. Well, you guys, tell me what you think on the scale of 1 to 10. Tell them to click on the star and the box will pop up. Um, yeah, there's a star, right? They click on it and it will pop up. Okay, thank you. There's a turn, turn, turn. Now, let me finish. Listen, don't you want me to finish your pink hair? They don't. Hmm? You want me to finish your hair? Mm -hmm. They are still in place, okay? But yeah, you guys, I, I've never like had my, I've never seen myself as a beautiful singer. But I remember when I was growing up, there's this boy, I used to have a, everybody go to the bedroom also. Oh! Oh, my like, God. Uh, there's this boy, I used to have a crush on. Oh, my God! 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 So whenever he's passing, I will start singing just like they do in Hollywood movies so that the boy will see, hear my voice and think that I have a, a cute voice. Well, we later became my boyfriend, so I guess it's worked, okay? <laughs> I guess the one minister singing is not your calling. Ah, ah, don't die. Who said that? Job and I work for you, eh? Is this, a, is this a payback for going away from YouTube for a long time? See, you will be surprised. One day I'll, I'll, win, I'll, I'll win American Idol. Okay, moon, ni never, nah, yeah, don't worry. So, about you especially. <laughs> ah. 
stick to creative content. I chineke na at all about. I think you're doing well. What artist is that from? I want to know more about my African race. That's from P Square. See, I don't know what happened, but P Square used to be like the be oh god, their music, eh? It will make you like, it will make you feel special. Not these days that all the song everybody is singing makes women they they make us look like we are bad people. P Square, their music from 2010, 11, 12, 13. 14 will make you feel every feeling you can ever feel as a woman. It will make you feel like your African queen for real. Not this nonsense. Everybody is singing and yabbing women as if we're a piece of shit. Eh? It's not good. But yeah, look up Peace Square, their song. Look up Beautiful Onine. Look up, um, oh God, a lot of their song. You should help me out here. Which other songs did Peace Square sing then? Oh, temptation, Jesus. I should have sung temptation for you. Choma, if I sing temptation for you, you will like my voice. In fact, let me start singing. Somebody kill the music. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to hear my voice again. <laughs> oh, you found me here also. <laughs> I'm from American Idol. Please don't go to Christmas. Okay, make it Vamnaya. You will see me on American Idol. No, this hair refuses to be. I don't know what kind of nonsense is this one. Says it. I think I'm hungry at this point. So I can't even see what I'm doing. The hair refused to braid. Oh, you did a beautiful job. Thank you so much, Caroline. See, you people, I'm tired. I need to go eat. Look at Zendaya's hair. So I say, thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Let me fix your edges, okay? I'll fix the other one later. I'm tired. I'm, I'm beginning to see double. Okay, let's fix your edges, baby. Turn, turn now. Okay. No, sit down, sit down. Turn, man. Oh, thank you, Udo. If you win America, I'll become your biggest fan. Ah, Shama, go and write it down somewhere. Just go and mark it. Go and mark it somewhere. One day you see me in America. I do. I'm not saying that I will win, but at least you will see me there. I wish. Because I don't want anybody to know, disgrace me. They'll just mock me out of my face. Stand up, baby. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Say, say. You know they hear what? Take my. No. No the thing that is hungry me now is to go and do reality TV. I don't know which one I'll go and do. Before you know it, now you see me on Playboy's Mansion. <laughs> and it's a reality. I want to go and do reality TV at this point, man. Mommy, Peter, cut. I'm not the cutting it. Hair. I'm not cutting the pink hair. I want to hold the pink hair together because I'm going to put it in hot water. But let me hold it together. I'm still kind of my eyes turning me. I'll finish braiding it tomorrow. Like I'm done braiding the hair, but the attachment, I'm trying to braid it to the mouth, but she's not staying one plate and I'm hungry, so I can't really see what I'm doing. So I'll complete it when I, I feel better. I feel really exhausted right now. I've been making video all day. I feel like I need to. I went from feeling very cold. It's literally 69 degrees in here, but I'm sweating in my armpit. Just to tell you that I'm not feeling well. I went from feeling very cold to feeling hot. See? Do you like it?
And this is the thing I like about not less braid. If it was normal um, braid that I made for her, now it will just stay like this. And then on top of that, you cannot braid it like this. But this one, you can just braid it like this. See? Says in has pink hair. La, 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 la. Say thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. What do you have to say about your pink hair? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go show daddy? Mm -hmm. You want to go to Shakara? Say bye to everybody. Hey guys, my battery here is dead. It's literally. Oh. <laughs> I literally have two percent remaining here. Thank you guys so for watching. Okay, if you qualify as a contestant, I'll be one of your biggest supporters. <laughs> okay, no wala. But just so we you just so in case, right? If I don't get to um what is it called? Um American Idol, at least I'll try the voice. Anyone, anyone, but I will, anywhere, any reality TV I do, I will sing and I will remember that I told you I was sing on national television and somebody will say, I will win something. So, uh, leave me alone. I'm going, I'm hungry, man. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Mm -hmm. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. My battery is dead here, okay? And besides, I'm tired. I'm going to go get something to eat. I'll see you guys in another video, okay? Bye. I'll try to be doing live video here, okay? So, please, you guys, don't forget to come support your girl, okay? I'm trying to get YouTube up with to pick me up as much as possible. Oh, thank you, Lois. Thank you, Chioma. Thank you, Udo. Thank you. Thank you, um, Yolanda. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Modupe. Thank you so much. If you're here, please give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. I'm shit.